Okay, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, a little bit past quarter past there. We do have a bit of a problem with our YouTube feed. So if you're watching at home on YouTube, we do apologize. We have a few technical glitches with that, which we can't seem to remedy at all. Seems to be a YouTube issue rather than here. We've tried our utmost. Um, so unfortunately, not going to get the lot descriptions up or the lot numbers or the estimates. But of course, you'll still be able to see us up on the stage. So, you know, you'll still be able to see the big screen behind me as well. So apologies about that if you're following on YouTube. If we can reboot it somehow during the sale, we will attempt to, but currently at the moment we can't. Um, so apologies. So just a quick reminder, if you weren't here for the bikes, I won't go through all our housekeeping. All I remind you is if the fire alarm goes off, you need to exit the building. It's not going to be a drill. The assembly point is out of the front main gate. Uh, toilets, including accessible toilets, are through the room with all the minis in, straight down the bottom corridor. Um, there is a commission uh, to be paid on today's sale. Um, the commission rate is 12.5% plus VAT. That makes it 15% all in on the hammer price. And uh, there's a minimum of £150 plus VAT on the cars. We'll try and get our results online for the close of business on Monday. We operate a provisional bidding system. Hopefully, you've seen that through the motorcycles. If you're not too familiar with that, that just means that... Uh, me as your auctioneer gives me the option to submit the high bid if we haven't got to the vendor's reserve. Uh, I'll let you know where it is. The provisional bids will come back to me. I'll tell you when they're actually uh, converted to an outright sale. If they're provisional, the hammer doesn't fall. Once they're sold, the hammer falls as per usual. Okay, there we go. Lot 101, ladies and gentlemen, start the cars. Lot 101 is the 1990 UNOS. 1.6 roads to the master UNOS Roadster, no reserve whatsoever, showing 185,000 kilometers. She's a Japanese import, so the speedo is still in kilometers. That equates to around about 115,000 miles. Manual transmission on this one, MOT till September, with the original alloys as well, chrome style bar on it. Now, I had plenty of commissions on this, no reserve whatsoever, plenty of commissions, but for the last 20 minutes, we've had the internet on bidding on this car, and they've taken my commissions out. I did have um, 1,500, 1,800, 2,000 pounds bid. Currently, we're at 2,200 on the internet, on the World Wide Web, with Thomas's vendors, clients rather, at 2,200 pounds bid at 2,200. On the Mazda Unos, 2,3, thank you. Fresh bidder in the room at 2,300 pounds bid at 2,300. That's taken my commissions out and taken the internet out as well at 2,300 pounds bid in the sale room. Please look sharp at home if you want to come in. Give me a shout anywhere else in our sale room. 2-4, fresh bidder. 2-5. 2-6. On the seated area, ladies and gentlemen, at 2,600. You're out, gentlemen, I'm afraid to say. 2,600. It is your bid, sir. At 2,650. Do you the same favor. 2-7 if you like. 2-7. Still going. Thanks anyway for your bid. It's at 2,700 pounds bid. Look sharp. Give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, at 2,700 pounds. 2,750. Fresh bidder on the mezzanine. You've got somebody on the mezzanine now, sir, against you. 2,750. You're out. Thanks for your bids anyway. Plenty more to go. Don't worry. At 2,750 pounds. Finished and done. Selling away. Please look sharp everywhere else. At 2,750, I'm selling. Sold away. Yours, sir. 61. Number 61. 2750. Round of applause there up on the mezzanine. That's always nice to see. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 102. 102 is the 1954 MG TF 1250. Right hand drive, home market example from new in the current ownership since 2009. Fully re full restoration was carried out in 2008. Still looks a very, very bonny car. Been well used, this one enjoyed and shown at various events all around the UK with the original steel wheels. She's on the uh, chrome uh, wire wheels, but uh, the original steel wheels are offered with the car as well, should you choose to put it on those. Comprehensive in, uh, history file with her as well. Has been converted to indicators, showing just two former keepers as well. In the current ownership since 2009, like I said. Interest here, starts me away at seven and a half, eight bid. At 8,000 pounds, bid with me at 8,000 on the MG. TF, 1250. I've got 9,500. 10,000. I'm out at 10,000 pounds. Bid in the sale room at 10,000. Gentleman's bid at 10,000. 10,500. Internet, 11,000. Thank you, sir. At 11,000 pounds, bid in our sale room at 11,000. You're still out on the internet, I'm afraid to say. 
at eleven thousand pounds. Only bid at eleven thousand on my right at eleven thousand pounds. Coming in again if you like. Eleven two, eleven four if you like, sir. Eleven four. Still against you, George. Eleven six, eleven eight. Twelve thousand. I want outright sale at twelve thousand. Still staying two hundred, sir. If that'll help you. Twelve two. Thank you. Still in our sale room. Give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in. Against the telephone. Shaking your head on the telephone. You're out. At £12,200 I have bid in the sale room. Gentleman's bid. Selling away. Outright sale. Remember, make no mistake as well at home if you want to come in. Selling away at £12,000. £200. Sold yours, sir, at 12 two. 132 isn't it? One three two. Couple of updates for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is how the provisional bid system works. Lot 36, the Triumph TR6 trophy, sold away at 3,950. And lot 44, the Suzuki TC250 Super 6, sold away at 3,700. There we go. So we'll keep those updates coming for you for the bikes, as well as the cars as we run through today's sale. Next lot is lot 103. 103, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1963 Triumph TR4. Um, showing uh, a little under 72,000 miles, MOT till June 2024, complete with all weather equipment as well, older restoration, which does appear from the history file to have covered only 4,000 miles since she was restored. Photographic restoration as well within that history file. Very nice looking Triumph TR4, as you can see on the big screen behind me there, running and driving. Good looking car, interest here starts you at 10, 10 and a half, 11 bid. At 11,000 pounds, bid with me at 11,000. On the TR4, at just 11,000 pounds. A lot of motor car here, ladies and gentlemen, at 11,000 pounds, only bid at 11,000. 11, and I'll, I'll find out where they are, I've got 12. At 12,000 pounds, bid at 12,000. Got you, thank you. At 12,000 pounds, only bid at 12,000, still with me. At 12,000 pounds, only bid at 12,000. 500 if you like again, ladies and gentlemen, at £12,000 bid on commission. It's against you in the sale room at £12,000 at just 12 bid on my commission book again. Like I said, hell of a lot of motor car here. Older restoration still prevents, presents very nicely in the sale room with the all-weather gear as well at £12,000 on the Triumph TR4 at £12,000 only bid at £12,000. Very, very little money at 12 bid. Absolutely sure it is provisional. I will submit the bid if that's all we're going to see, but that's very surprising indeed at £12,000 on the TR4. Never seen them for this kind of money. At £12,000, only bid at £12,000. Still on my commission book. You're out in the sale room. Make no mistake at all at £12,000. Finish and done then. Absolute 12 and a half. Thank you, sir. My commissions are out now at 12 and a half bid. In the sale room at £12,500 on the TR4 at 12500 Absolutely sure. Everybody's hands should have been in the air on this one. And this is very surprising. At £12,500. Provisionally selling to the gentleman in the sale room at £12,500. We'll try for you, sir, at £12,500. Five, five, four. Provisional at £12,500. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen is lot 104, the 1968 Lotus Elan S4 drophead coupe, and it's over to Paul Cowland. Thank you, Jules. Well, what can we say about the Lotus Elan? Everybody knows this was the benchmark car, not just in the 60s, not just in the 70s or 80s, but even up to the 90s. When Mazda developed the MX-5, they actually bought one of these, took it to the factory and analyzed why it drove and rode and handled so well. So even today, in 2024, these cars are still incredible. Dynamically, they're amazing. This one's particularly lovely. I love the color. An amazing rebuild with lots of invoices, lots of history, lots of photographs, lots of receipts for parts. But why I like this car so much, Jules, is it's super underneath. Tiny bit of love needed on the paintwork if you want to. So what you've got here, ladies and gents, is the chance to buy a car that's very presentable, very smart and tidy. Tidy the paintwork if you want, or you could buy a car for a really great figure that you can just do as you go or just leave it as it is and enjoy it and park where you like. Either way, it's a fabulous little car, as I say, with loads of parts, loads of spares and loads of bills. What's it worth, Jules? Well, we'll find out, but I would use it just as it is. Doesn't really need, it says here in my notes, needs finishing off, but it's good enough, really, to be honest. Anyway, there we go. Let's have a look here. 
1968 Lotus Landroped. Interest here on my commission book starts your way at nine and a half, ten and a half bid at ten thousand five hundred pounds. Bid with me at ten five on the Lotus Land, eleven thousand five hundred. Still on commission, I'm afraid, sir. Twelve thousand is your bid at twelve thousand pounds. Bid in the sale room now at twelve thousand. Commissions are out at just twelve thousand pounds. Bid again. Hell of a lot of motor car for twelve thousand pounds. 12.5, telephone again, sir, 13,000. Back in the sale room at 13,000 pounds, bid at 13,000. On the Lotus Elan, 13 and a half, telephone, 14,000. Thank you, sir, at 14 bid. Still at 14,000 pounds bid in the sale room. 14.5, internet, 7.50. Thank you, sir, at 14,750 bid, 15,000. And a quarter at 15,250 bid, 15 and a half. Thanks anyway for your bid, sir, at £15,500 on the internet. Your turn now, George. I can get you back in. You're out. Thanks anyway for your bids on the telephone. Thanks for your bids in the room. At £15,500 I have, internet bidder. I'm on outright sale for the little Lotus Elan. Great car. Great price as well at £15,500. Absolutely sure I'm selling her away. £750, thank you. Fresh bidder on the internet. 16,000, still going on the internet. That's a shame, just says United Kingdom, Great Britain, doesn't it? Yeah, I know, yeah, we don't know, where, we don't know where you are at home, but you're in the UK, it's 16,000 pounds bid. Coming in again, if you like, for just another 250. Great car. Like I said, I would just use it as it is, 16,250. 16 and a half, still going at 16 and a half thousand pounds bid at 16 and a half. 750. At £16,750 bid. Internet against internet bidding, ladies and gentlemen. Now, all the way at 16750 Fill it up at home to 17000 if you want to. On the little Lotus Elan at £16,750. Make no mistake at home, I'm selling away. Last chance, please look sharp. 17000 250 if you like. 17250 Still going at £17,250. Very bonny little Lotus Elan. At £17,250. Fair warning to the other two underbidders on the internet. I'm selling away. Last chance. Please look sharp if you're going to come in. At £17,250. Selling away. Sold away at £17,250. Yeah, got it. 7632. 7632. Thanks for that at home. Lot 105, ladies and gentlemen, 105 is the 1980 MG Midget 1500. No reserve on this one whatsoever. It's a garage find. Has been MOT'd for you, though. MOT till next March. Just two owners on the V5. No reserve whatsoever. There's nothing on my book. Where are you at, Thomas? £1,000 bid on the internet at just £1,000. Selling away outright, remember, ladies and gentlemen, from the first bid. At 1,000, 1,250. Still going at 1,250 bid. 1,500. 1,750. At 1,750 pounds bid at 1,750. 2,000. At 2,000 pounds bid, 2,250. At two and a quarter, 2,250. Two and a half. At 2,500 pounds. Can't get you in in the room. You'll need to be quicker than that. We've got internet against internet bidding here at 2,500 pounds on the little MG midget. At 2,500, try 26, Thomas. At 2,500, if you don't mind. 26, there we go. At 2,600 pounds bid. Can't say fairer than that at home, can we? We're in 100 pound increments now at 2,600 pounds. 27, still going at 27 in Lancashire now, I notice. At 2,700 pounds. It's against you all, ladies and gentlemen. 28, still going at 2,800 pounds bid. At 2,800 pounds. You're out in the sale room, remember, at 2,800. Finished and done then, are we? Absolutely sure at home at 2,800. Fair war. I can see you hovering away to nine. At 2,900 pounds bid. Back in Lancashire, 3,000 at three bid. On the little MG Midget at 3,000 pounds bid at 3,000. MOT till next March. Just two owners on the registration documents at 3,000 pounds bid. Finished and done. Fair warning to the underbidder. Please look sharp. Can't keep them open forever. At £3,000, then I'm selling away at £3,100. Right on the hammer. Please bid quickly at home. Don't want to miss you. If the hammer's down, we don't reopen the lots at all at £3,100 bid. 
Fair warning to the underbidder now. Going to Lancashire. Finish and done then. Absolutely sure. 3-2. Three, at 3,200 pounds bid at 3,200. Against you in Lancashire. At 3,200 pounds bid. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. I'm selling away. Fair warning. One last time at 3,200. She's going. Sold away at 3,200. 2257 sold away at 3200 sold away lot 106 ladies and gentlemen 106 is the 2008 Mercedes Benz SLK 280 automatic this one one owner from new ladies and gentlemen just one owner from new March next year the MOT showing a, a little under 59,000 miles from new is the V6 3 litre Mercedes SLK 280? Has the desirable air scarf option so it keeps your neck and head warm uh, while you've got the roof down if it's the middle of winter, if you're into that kind of thing. With the book pack and wallet as well, there we are. Good looking car. Nothing on my book. Where are you at, Thomas? Four bid at £4,000, only bid at £4,000. With Thomas on the internet, at £4,000, only bid at £4,000. Next bid's 4-2 if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Currently at 4,000 bid. At 4,000 pounds. You're all out in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen. Really good looking. 4-2. I've got you, sir. Thanks very much indeed. Up on the mezzanine. At 4,200 pounds bid at 4-2. Against you on the internet. Make no mistake at all. At 4,200 pounds. 4-4 internet. On the World Wide Web, sir. At 4,400 pounds. You're out on the mezzanine. You're out in the sale room as well. At 4,400 pounds. Great looking SLK 280 here. Four six, I've got in the room, Thomas. Sorry about that. Gentlemen in the room, you're both big together. I'll take you, sir, though, at 4,600 bid. On our mezzanine. In the sale room, then. Four seven, internet. Do you the same thing? Four eight, internet. You're up against multiple internet bidders at 4,800. Four nine, if you like, sir. Look sharp, though, before the internet comes back in. At 4,800 pounds bid. At 4,800 pounds, 49. At 4,900 pounds, on sale. Thanks very much indeed. 5,000, still on sale at five bid. At 5,000 pounds bid now at 5,000. Internet against internet bidding. You're all out in the sale room. 5 1, you're back in, sir. Thanks very much indeed. At 5,100 bid. 5 2, internet. Thanks anyway for your bids. At 5,200 pounds bid on the World Wide Web at 5,200. 5 3. In Derbyshire, I notice now, at £5,300. At £5,300 bid. SLK 280 at 5.4. In Somerset now. Oh, in, there we go. Yeah, it could be, could be somebody you know, Thomas. Back in Derbyshire at £5,500. You're out in Somerset. No longer your bid in Somerset. We're selling to Derbyshire. At 5500 five six. Back in Somerset at £5,600. Five seven. At 5,700, 58, back in Somerset again at 5,800 pounds bid, 59. Fill it up to 6,000 in Somerset if you want to, I'm sure you do. Six bid at 6,000 pounds bid at 6,000, 6 1. One owner from new, little under 59,000 miles, 6 2. Still going in Somerset, 6 3. Back in Derbyshire at 6,300 pounds. Just shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come back in while the internet's slugging it out on this fabulous Mercedes. 6.4, 6.5, six, six, at £6,500, but at £6,500. One owner from new, 59,000 miles. It's the V6 Auto, three litre, at £6,500. Finished and done then. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at home. 6.6. Six, six. Back in Somerset, I'm guessing. Yes, at 6,600, 67. Derbyshire bidder at 6,700 pounds, bid at 6,700. Still against you in the sale room at 6,700 pounds. March next year, the MOT. With the air scarf option as well. With the book pack and the wallet. Two sets of keys selling away. Absolutely sure. No longer your bid in Somerset. I'm selling away. You're back in at 6,800 pounds, bid at 6,800. 69. Back in Derbyshire at £6,900. Fill it up in Somerset if you want to. Currently at £6,900. Seven bid. At £7,000, only bid at £7,000. Seven one. You're not going to be disappointed with this one, I can assure you. We had a good look at this one, didn't we, Damien? At £7,100. Very nice car. 
at £7,100. At £7,100. Absolutely sure. Selling away in Derbyshire. Not your bid in Somerset at £7,100. Fair warning. One last time from your auctioneer. Selling away at £7,100. She's going. Sold away. Very well done. Commiserations in Somerset there. Six, eight, five, five. Sold away for £7,100. What a lovely motor car that one was. 107, 107. Thanks, Thomas. Lot 107 is the two. Here's another lovely motor car. 2005 Porsche Boxster 3.2S. I've had a close look at this one. Again, absolute cracker. This in the speed yellow. Great factory specification as well. Good service history. 85,000 there or thereabouts on the clock. 3.2S Boxster manual. August this year, the MOT. Great color. £5,000 bid on the internet. 5.2 in the room. At £5,200, 5.5. Five, five. Five, eight. At £5,800, bid at 5.8. 6,000. Fresh bidder. 6.2. Currently at £6,200, bid at 6,200. At just £6,200 bid. Coming in if you like anywhere else. 6.5 internet. 6.8. Back in the room. Seated bidder at £6,800, bid at 6,800. Fill it up to 7,000 if you like on the internet or anywhere else in the room. I've had a good look at this one. Nice car at 6,800 pounds bid. 7,000. 71. Thank you, sir. At 7,100 pounds. On my right, make no mistake at all. 72 internet. 73. Back in the sale room at 7,300 pounds bid at 7,300. Great color. Great looking car, this one. 7.4, good history. You sure, sir? I have genuinely had a good look at it. I like this one myself. I've just got, like everybody knows, I have seven cars. I have a storage issue. I have no more room. Uh, genuinely. I need to sell some at £7,400. That's my problem, Thomas. I just buy them and never sell them. 7400 On the internet, make no mistake at all, at £7,400, provisionally submitting the bid. Look sharp in the sale room if anybody else wants to come in. 7.5. Thank you, sir. You're back in the game at £7,500 bid. At £7,500. 7.6. Thanks anyway for coming back in. Much appreciated. At £7,600. There's a red one coming up later, so you can have a bid on that one. Don't worry. I do think this is better, though. But at £7,600. On the internet, it is provisional. Submitting the bid. Make no mistake whatsoever in the sale room. 7.7. 7, fresh bidder from nowhere. With you, sir, at 7-7, seven, 7-8, seven, seven, eight, seven, at 7,900. Still in the sale room at 7,900. I'm on outright sale, no longer provisional. You currently own us, sir, unless the internet comes back in. 8,000 internet. I think she's a good one. I'm only the auctioneer, of course, but I have looked at it. Good color. 8-1 against you at the World Wide Web at £8,100, bid at 8100 In the sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at 8100 Look sharp at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer. Selling away in the room at 8 one You bought, sir, at 8 one Well done. Just need that number again. Sorry, I didn't pay attention. 590, 590. Sold away at 8100 Thanks very much indeed. So just I'm sure you'll enjoy this, that so one. Sorry. It looked a good car. Right, we're just going to do this one, and then I'll be, I'll be all your... Lot 108, ladies and gentlemen. 108 is this absolutely stunning 1973 Jaguar E-Type V12 Roadster. Let's see what Paul Cowan has to say about this one. Thank you so much, Jules. I have to say, mate, that Porsche Boxer, what a car, what a colour, what a spec, what a price. But we're yeah. talking about some of the nicest lots that we have in today. I can't really give you anything better than this. Gorgeous car, 1972. It's an E-Type, that much you know, but the history, the bills, the expenditure on this car. If you're seriously bidding, you've still got time to pull the book packs, but let me just summarize it for you. New everything, perfect paint, perfect interior, new carpets, new steering rack, high torque starter motor, new mohair hood. If you top that little lot up, Jules, that's 148,500 pounds has been spent on this car. It's a manual, it's right-hand drive, it's matching numbers, it's all the things you want when you buy a car. And you could buy it today, I think, for a fraction of its restoration costs. So as we say, if you want one, you want this one. Let's see what it's worth. Yeah, here we go, Paul. Like you said, 148 and a half thousand pounds spent on this one since 2015. So in the last nine years, 
She's had loads of money spent on her. That's why she's in this condition, ladies and gentlemen. Matching numbers car. V12 manual roadster. They don't come much better than this. Most people think red's the nicest color. Has the biscuit leather as well. Black mohair hood. Comprehensive service history. Interest here starts you at 50, 52, 55, 58,000. At 58,000 pounds, bid with me at 58,000. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at 58,000 pounds. Next bid, 60 if you like in the sale room. Currently at 58,000 pounds bid. 60,000, 62, 65, 68, 70 bid. I'm out now at 70,000 pounds bid in our sale room at 70,000. On the Jaguar E type, ladies and gentlemen, at 70,000 pounds, only bid at 70. Against my commission interest at 70,000 pounds. Great car here, loads of money spent, wants for absolutely nothing, in my humble opinion. At 70,000 pounds, bid now at 70,000. Coming in, if you like, on the internet or anywhere else in the sale room. It is provisional, submitting the bid. Make no mistake whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. Please look sharp if you want to come in. Currently at 70,000 pounds, finished and done. It is provisional then at 70,000. We will try for you. Number 63, isn't it? At 70,000 pounds. Provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 109, which is the 2001 Jaguar XK8 4 liter convertible. No reserve whatsoever on this one, showing just 53,000 miles from new. Three former keepers on her as well. In the current ownership since 2007. So what's that? 14 years. Our vendors had a complete with the book pack and wallet as well. Fully operational roof on it. With the hood cover. Lots and lots. Wow. Have you seen all these? Look at this. Loads of commission interest here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in it. Uh, let's have a look. 2,000. 2,224. At 2,400 pounds, bid with me at 2,400. At 2004, 2628. Still with me, sir. At 2800 on commission. No reserve, remember. At 2800 pounds bid, 3000. I've got you, sir. I'm out. Just a little bit quicker in the sale room. Sorry about that. 3 2 internet. Thanks anyway for your bids. At 3200 pounds, I have bid. 3 4. Internet against internet bidding, ladies and gentlemen. There's more than one person on there, believe it or not. At 3400 pounds bid. On the internet at 3400 pounds. 3.6, fresh bidder. Sorry, I was just concentrating on the internet there. 3,600. Just as well you're awake, Thomas. 3.8 at 3,800 pounds. On the internet, sir, at 3,800. Fill it up to 4,000 if you like. Or 3.9 I'll take. There you go. I'll do you a favor if you like. At 3,800 pounds. 100 pound if you like. 3.9, thank you. At 3,900. Still in our sale room. 4,000 internet. 4-1, thank you, sir. At 4,100 pounds, bid at 4-1. Three former keepers, remember, 4-2. 4-3, still in our sale room at 4,300 pounds bid. 4-4, four, four, internet. No, thanks for your bids anyway. At 4,400 pounds bid. No reserve, remember, ladies and gentlemen. Been on sale since the first bid at 4,400. On the XK8, four-litre convertible, selling away. All three of you are out in the sale room. 4-5, four, four, thank you. You're back. At, well, why not? At 4,500 pounds bid. 4,6. 53,000 miles from new. 4 litre convertible auto at 4,6. 4,7. Or oh, 4,650. Dear me. At 4,650 pounds bid. 4,7. No, thanks for your bids anyway. At 4,700 pounds. Finish and done. Selling away. Anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, or I'm selling away at 4,700. Sold away at 4,700 pounds. With you again, Thomas. 1120. Thanks very much indeed on the internet. Lot 110. 1968. Sunbeam Alpine. Lots of money spent on this particular vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. Just three previous owners showing 58,000 miles. Manual overdrive example. Was restored a few years ago, back in 2018, 2019. Um, believed to have been one of the very last cars ever made as well. Sunbeam Alpine from 1968. Lots of commission interest. Um, I know you've got £6,000 there, Thomas. Unfortunately, I've got seven, eight, nine, ten. At £10,000, bid with me at 10000 Next bid's ten and a half. 
Thank you. At £10,000, I have bid. I'm on outright sale, ladies and gentlemen. Commission interest, 10500 11 bid. Still against you on the internet. At £11,000, I have bid on commission, 11000 Coming in again, if you like, ladies and gentlemen, at just £11,000 bid. 58,000 miles there or thereabouts. Three previous owners previously restored during 2018 to 2019. Believed to be one of the last that came off the assembly line at £11,000. Bid with me at 11000 Coming in again, if you like. Oh, I was just about to say that. You're there already. I was going to say I'll take a quarter. At £11,000 bid. I'll take 250, ladies and gentlemen. If anybody else wants to take her home, otherwise I'm selling away on commission 250. <laughs> so it's like Thomas is buying it himself when you're buying it at home on the internet. He's like got a virtual car park, virtual garage of them all, adding another one at 11,250 pounds. Taking my commission out, selling away with Thomas at 11,250. Oh, 11,500. Internet against internet now. Where are we? In Essex. No longer your bid in Greater Manchester. Currently in Essex at 11,500. We'll give you a chance just to see if you want to come back for another 250. Otherwise, we're selling away. Fair warning, one last time from your auctioneer at 11,500 pounds. We're selling. Sold away at 11,500 pounds. 7,541. Thanks, Thomas. Another one to add to your top, top Trump's collection there. Lot <laughs> 111. Lot 111 is the uh, 2006 Bentley Continental GTC. This car has been very nice. I'm looking at it here on my left. Very nicely specified when new in really stunning color combination. Really sets the car off very, very nicely indeed. Showing round about 35,000 miles. Clearly been well loved all its life, this one. Automatic transmission. MOT till uh, next March. Nearly a full year's ticket on it. Lots of invoices and receipts in the history file as well. Like I said, real sharp looking Continental GTC. And I'm in, let's have a look here. I'm in at uh, 11, 12, 13 bid. At 13,000 pounds, bid with me at 13,000. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 13,000 pounds. On the GTC Continental, 14,500. 15,500. 16,000, I'm out. At 16,000 pounds, bid on the mezzanine at 16,000. Great looking Continental GTC. At 16,000 pounds, bid at 16,000. On the mezzanine, ladies and gentlemen, 16 and a half. I've got in the sale room. Sorry about that, Thomas. I've got you, sir. I've taken you instead of the internet at 16 and a half thousand. You're out on the mezzanine. Gentleman in the middle, thanks anyway for your bids at 16 and a half thousand pounds bid. I thought this car was dear to your heart at 17 bid. At 17,000 pounds bid at 17 and a half. Still bid in the center of the sale room at 17 and a half thousand pounds bid. 18,500. 19,000. I'm on outright sale now. It's against you, sir. 19,500. Great car. Great specification. I know you know that. 20,500. Thanks anyway for your bids at 20,500 pounds. Can take you now, Thomas, if you want to come back in. Been left in the dust. At 20,500 pounds, selling away. On this lovely Continental GTC. Oh, sorry, George, I forgot. 21. Sorry, sir, we had the telephone. Sorry, you nearly had it. I nearly ignored the telephone and got sacked and sold it to you. But I've got 21,000. Is she worth another five? Great spec. I mean, I know you know that. Color, specification, what a nice motor car. Clearly been well loved all its time. At 21,000 pounds, telephone bidder, you're out, sir, I'm afraid to say. 250 if you like. What do you think? What does the young fella think? It's up to you now. 250. 21,250. Against you on the telephone. At 21,250 pounds. 21,500. You're out. Thanks anyway for your bid. Sorry to disappoint you. At £21,500, selling away on the telephone against you in the sale room. At £21,500 with George. Sold away yours, George, at £21,500. You're very welcome to bid this, by the way. 
2010 on the telephone. Lovely motor car, that one. Lot 112, ladies and gentlemen, it's a 1987 Ford Sierra RS Cosworth, and it's over to Paul again. Thank you, Jules. Look at this. If you're my age, if you're anywhere between about 40 and 50, you too will have been obsessed with the Sierra Cosworth in the 1980s. Andy Rouse and the exploits of this car in touring car are legendary. They really are. The funny thing is the homologation car, the road-going showroom car that everybody bought, although it was very beautiful, they weren't actually that fast. The standard car, just over 200 horsepower, not really that quick. This one answers that. This one has got what they call a gunship conversion. Beautifully modified, very tastefully modified, this car as well. So this is 350 horsepower. This is getting much closer to where the touring cars were. But if you look, completely standard body. And come and have a look at this inside, Fraser. Look at the quality. Always check Ford seats, particularly bolsters and velour. No sag, no ruching. This car has had a very, very easy life. It's lived in a garage for 22 years. It's been ceramic coated, waxed. It's gorgeous. It answers the problem that these have, that they're not that quick. But the weird thing is a very nicely, tastefully modified car is normally cheaper than a completely standard car. So you get the best of all worlds. Amazing condition, a little bit more power. And I think someone could get a great value car today. So Jules, let's see what it's worth. Gunship conversion. It's Gunship actually, conversion, yeah. Yeah, I've never, never come across I'd, I'd buy it just for the name. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stick it on the rear window exactly. or something like that. Yeah, yeah but this, this is quick. This is a quick car. Yeah, I believe so. Have you driven it? I haven't, but I would very much like to own it. I'm just a little bit shy of the 45 or 50 grand I think you're about to get for well, it. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. There we are. Sierra RS Cosworth. Garage and dry stored for the past 22 years. 97,000 miles on her. Interesting. You've got 30,000, I've got 32. Sorry about that. At 32,000 pounds, bid with me at 32,000. On the RS Cosworth, modified by Norris Motorsport, gunship conversion to 350 brake horsepower. At 32,000 pounds, bid with me at 32,000. Absolutely for nothing. Timing belt replaced and a service in May 2020, less than 400 miles ago at 32, 34,000. I've got 35. At 35,000 pounds, bid with me at 35,000. Against you on the internet at 35,000 pounds. Against you in the room as well. On the RS Cosworth, ladies and gentlemen. Modified by Norris Motorsport. Great looking machine. At 35,000 pounds, bid with me at 35,000. Next bid's 36 if you want to come in. Currently on commission, submitting the bid. It is provisional. Make no mistake at all at home. Make no mistake in the sale room. At 35,000 pounds only on the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. Garage and dry store for the past 22 years. Finished and done then, absolutely sure. 36,000, my commissions are out. At 36, I've got you at home on the internet. Where are we in Surrey? At 36,000 pounds bid, against my commission interest, against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen, please look sharp, submitting the bid with Thomas's client in Surrey. At 36,000 pounds on the Sierra Cosworth, we will try for you in Surrey at £36,000, provisionally selling at this moment in time. 4693, thank you. Lot 113, ladies and gentlemen, is the Citroen Saxo 1.6 VTR. No reserve or what? Oh, sorry, Thomas. No reserve whatsoever on this one. Uh, showing round about 59,000 miles. September this year, the MOT. Drives and presents very well indeed with the book pack. No reserve whatsoever. Interest here starts me away at, let's have a look, 1,100, 1,200, 13 bid. At 1,300 pounds, bid with me at 1,300. 1,400, 1,500. No reserve, remember, ladies and gentlemen, at 1,500 pounds bid, 1,600, 1,700. At 1,700 pounds, bid with me at 17, 1,800, 1,900. Still with me at 1,900. 2,000, 2,1. Two, 2,2 two, two is your bid, Thomas. At 2,200 pounds, bid at 2,200. Citroen Saxo, 1.6 VTR at 2,200 pounds, bid. At 2,200 pounds, bid. Against my commission interest now at 2,200. Got you, sir, in the sale room. 2-3. Fresh bidder all together. Against my commission and against you, Thomas. 2-4. At 2,400 pounds, bid at 2,400. You're out in the sale room, I'm afraid. At 2,400, I have. 
on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, at £2,400. Make no mistake at all, you're out in the cell room. My commission is out as well at £2,400. Bid with Thomas, 2.5, internet against internet, 2.6, straight back at you. At £2,600, bid at 2600 Just shout if I'm missing you. We've got a packed sale room, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely fantastic to see you all in the sale room. At £2,600 bid. At £2,600 bid. Fair warning to the underbidder. Make no mistake whatsoever. I'm selling away then on the VTR Saxo. On the internet at £2,600 against you all in the sale room. Sold away at £2,600. Seven, five, eight, nine. Sold away at 2,600. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 114. 1964, this one. Morris Minor, 1,000 Traveller. Showing uh, a little over 39,500 miles. MOT'd until March next year. Great history file going all the way back to the 1960s, no less. All the restoration, we do have uh, photographic evidence of that restoration in the history file as well. Interest here with me on the Traveller starts you at six. Six, five, six, eight, seven, bid at 7,000 pounds. Bid with me at 7,000. Morris Minor Traveller here at 7,000 pounds, only bid at 7,000. Seven, two, seven, five, seven, eight, and I'm out at 7,800 pounds. Bid now at seven, eight. At seven thousand eight hundred pounds, sale room in the sale room now at seven thousand eight hundred, against my commission interest then at seven thousand eight hundred pounds. Coming in if you like anywhere else. Currently at seven thousand eight hundred pounds. Morris Minor Traveller, older restoration with the photographic evidence to back that up in the history file at seven thousand eight hundred pounds. Fill it up to eight if you want to on the internet or anywhere else in the sale room. Currently at seven thousand eight hundred pounds. Finishing done. It is provisional, submitting the bid at £7,800. We'll try for you, sir, at 7 8. That is 22. Thank you. Number 22 at 7800 Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 115. 1990 Ford Fiesta RS Turbo. Just two owners from new, it says here. In its original factory specification, including the period original radio, loads of invoices and receipts in the documents uh, office there for you to look through, showing round about 58,000 miles, MOT till July. Interest here starts you at 10, 11, 12 bid. At 12,000 pounds, bid with me at 12,000. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 12 bid. Very, very little money for one of these at just £12,000. Ford Fiesta RS Turbo at £12,000 with me on my commission book at 12000 Against you in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen. Against you at home at just £12,000. Next bid's twelve and a half, if you like. Currently at £12,000 bid on commission. At £12,000 only. Finish and done. Then are we all ready? Everybody's very quiet in the sale room on this one at £12,000. Ford Fiesta. RS Turbo at 12 bid, finish and done then. Absolutely sure at 12,000, that is quite speculative. 12, five, I'll take it, it is quite speculative. That is provisional on the internet at 12,500. We will try for you. 7681, taking my commission out right at the last second there. Provisional, we'll see what we can do for you, Tom. We're quite a way off the reserve to be fair, but you never know, we'll see what we can do. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 116, which is the 1994 Morgan Plus 8. And let's see what Paul's got to say about this one. Thank you, Jules. Jules, this is a little slice of British roadster perfection, isn't it? If you want the archetypal British sports car, has to be a Morgan, has to be in British racing green. And if you've got anything about you, while we're still allowed to drive them, full fat V8, 3.9 Rover V8. So it makes all the right noises. It shovels along at an amazing speed. And whoever spec this one from the factory is a bit of a genius because great color. It's got the, the roll bar, which is a nice little touch, makes you feel very safe when you're flying along. Also makes the car a little bit stiffer as well. They've gone for the option deep dish 16s, which I think transform the look of the car. It's got the right Avons on as well. Motor liter, pipe seats. They've just ticked all the boxes, Jules. Really nice car, 
the right engine, the right gearbox, and even the original build photos of it going through the factory. So what a lovely way, when the sun eventually comes, whenever that is, the year 2026, you'll be ready. So Jules, what's it worth? Well, let's find out, shall we, Paul? At 116, the Morgan Plus 8, MOT till next March, nearly a full year's ticket on her as well. Great colour, British racing green. They don't come better than that, do they? Uh, showing a little bit under 65,000 miles. Let's have a look here. I've got uh, 17, 18, 19,000 bid at 19,000 pounds. Bid with me at 19,000. At 19,000 pounds only bid. Fill it up to 20 if you like. 20,000, 21. At 21,000. Still on my commission book then at 21,000 pounds. Against you in the sale room at 21,000 pounds. 500, thank you, and I'm out. I've got 21.5. If you've got 22, no, at 21.5. 22,000, fresh bidder at 22,000 pounds. Bid now at 22,000 on the Morgan at 22,000 pounds. 500 if you like anywhere else. Thanks for your bid anyway. On my right, make no mistake, at 22,000 pounds bid. On the Morgan, plus eight. 65,000 miles. March next year, the MOT. Finished and done again then, are You're absolutely sure. It is provisional. In the sale room then, against you at home at £22,000. Finished and done at home as well. We'll try for you, sir, at 22,063, the paddle number. Provisional. Lot 117, ladies and gentlemen. 117, here we are. What an absolute fantastic car. This one is the 1985 Rolls-Royce Cornish convertible showing on my left there. Just 26,000 miles from you. Where do you find them with this kind of mileage? In the original color combination of willow gold with magnolia hide, piped in brown. Can't be many in this particular color combination at all that were manufactured back in the day. With the original bill of sale, old MOT stickers go all the way back to 1991 as well. Has had a recent service, an absolutely exceptional Cornish convertible here. Interest here with me. Let's have a look here. Got quite a few commissions on this one. Uh, interest here with me. You've got 50. I've got 52, 55, 58. At 58,000 pounds, bid with me at 58,000. On the Cornish, ladies and gentlemen, at 58,000 pounds. Against you on the internet and against you in the sale room at 58,000 pounds. I have bid at 58,000. On the corn each, ladies and gentlemen, at just 58,000. Fill it up to 60 if you like on the internet. Still on my commission book at 58,000 pounds. Say 60 if you like anywhere else at 58,000 pounds. Only bid at 58,000. On the corn each, 60,000. 62. Still with me at 62,000 pounds. Bid at 62,000. Still on commission. You're out in the sale room. You're out online as well at 62,000 pounds. Like I said, absolutely exceptional Corniche here. Great color combination. Again, clearly loved all its life. Looks like it wants for nothing at all at 62,000 pounds, but at 62,000. Still on commission, ladies and gentlemen. Against you around the globe. Against you in the sale room as well. Fair warning. Look sharp. Make no mistake at all at 62,000 pounds. Submitting the bid. It is on commission with me, ladies and gentlemen, at 62,000. Finish and done, you're absolutely sure. Provisional at 62,000. That is 4065. 4065. Provisional at 62,000. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogue is lot 118, which is the absolutely lovely 1999 Mercedes Benz SLK 230 compressor. No reserve whatsoever, showing just round about 33,000 miles. Automatic transmission, March next year, the MOT, nearly a full year's ticket, just two previous owners. With the handbook and the service book, spare keys, good spec when it was brand new as well, supplied with a fitted car cover. While I've been telling you all about the car, the internet's been bidding away with Thomas. Where are we at, Thomas? 2,000. At 2,000 pounds, bid at 2,000. 2,2, two, two, thank you. In the room, I've taken the gentleman in the room. 2-4, internet. You sure, sir? Great car. Everybody else wants it. 2-6. Two, 2-8. Six. Two, 3,000. At 3,000 pounds, bid at 3,000. Against you on the internet. 3-2. Three, 3-4, two. Three, thank you. At 3,400 pounds, bid at 3-6. Internet. 
at £3,600. 3.8, thank you, sir, at £3,800. Fill it up, Thomas, your clients, four bid. I'll take 100, sir, if that'll bring you back in. Great car, we know the vendor. At £4,000, only bid at 4000 Absolutely sure. For one. Internet against internet now. At £4,100 bid. For two. Still going. Internet against internet. In Cambridgeshire at the, currently at the moment. At 4200 SLK 230 compressor with 33,000 miles. Automatic transmission. Nearly a full year's ticket. Two previous owners at 4300 bid. For four. Still going at 4400 Still in Cambridgeshire. Great car here. You can't find them with this kind of mileage on at 4,004, 45. At 4,006. Still going at 4,600 pounds, but at 4,600. All the activity on the internet now with Thomas. Back in Cambridgeshire at 4,600. Good color as well. You don't see them. Normally they're silver, aren't they? Don't, nearly every single one is silver. Nice color. It's nice to see it in a proper color. At £4,600. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. Fair warning. Make no mistake at all. I'm selling away. Outright sale with the bidder in Cambridgeshire. 46 4, 7. Warwickshire now. 4.8. Back in Cambridgeshire at 4800 What's not to like about this one? Low mileage. Automatic transmission. Nearly a full year's ticket. Two previous owners. Oh, rust treated as well. Recently rust treated as well. There we go. £4,800. Finish and done. Selling away. Fair warning to the underbidders at 4800 with Thomas. Sold away at £4,800. Seven, five, one, five. Thank you at home. Commiss one, three, sorry. Seven, five, one, three. I'll do that one again. Thanks. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 119. The 2003 Jaguar XKR 4.2 Coupe. Great looking car, this one. I, I, I do have to admit this. We have sold this car once before previously. It really does look good. Nice alloys. Good color combination. Headlining's great on it as well. If you're bidding at home and if you've not viewed it, headlining's really good on this one. Drives and presents very well. No advisory MOT into February next year. Automatic transmissions showing round about 75,000 miles. Interest here. Can't mess about here because they're right bang on the money. These uh, bids, very, very similar. I'm in at 65687 bid at 7,000 pounds. Bid with me at 7,000. Provisionally selling, ladies and gentlemen, at 7 bid. On the XKR, 4.2 coupe at 7,000 pounds. Bid with me against you on the internet, against you in our sale room as well, ladies and gentlemen, at just £7,000 I have. Finish and done. Absolutely sure. I will submit the bid. Seven and a half. Thank you. At home, I'm out now at 8000 I'm on outright sale. Commissions are out at 8000 bid. Internet against internet bidding. Currently going to Norfolk. Like I said, looks really, really sharp, this car on these alloys. 8250 Cumbria at 8250 bid. At 8250 I was in Cumbria the other week, Braystones Beach. Braystones Beach, I was the only person on it. Um, eight, seven, fifty. Sorry, eight and a half. Beg your pardon. Still going at eight and a half thousand pounds, but at eight and a half. In Norfolk, back in Norfolk at eight and a half thousand. No longer your bid in Cumbria, I'm, I'm afraid to say. Looks like you're back in at eight, seven, fifty. Thank you in Cumbria. At eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds bid. Fill it up to nine if you like. Currently at eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. On the XKR, 4.2 coupe at £8,750. Absolutely sure, nine bid at 9,000. Bid now at 9,000. Back in Norfolk against you in Cumbria at £9,000 bid. On the XKR, 4.2 coupe, 75,000 miles there or thereabouts. Automatic transmission, no advisory MOT into February next year. Selling away to our bidder in Norfolk. Fair warning in Cumbria at £9,000 she's going to sell. Sold away at £9,000. 4841. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, lot 120 is the 1967 Alfa Romeo Spider 1600 Duetto. What a pretty machine. And that's just Paul Cowland. Thank you, Jules. I would sing Mrs. Robinson, but I know from the copyright point of view, my singing is so good, we might get shut down on the live feed. So I won't do that. 
Anybody wants one of these normally has to buy a Californian car, an import car, it's left hand drive, it's very nice. What you really want to get is one of the 382 British cars in right hand drive. And this is one of those, an incredibly rare spec, particularly with the enclosed headlights and the boat tail. Matching numbers car, only three owners from New Jewels on this one as well. And two of those are the same person. One of them was the company. Had loads of money spent on it, as you can see, it's in beautiful condition and the interior is like new. But the best of all, it's got some really nice and sensible mods. So it's got electronic ignition. It's got a few other bits and pieces as well. It's had up rates, updates, electric fan, things that make it nicer to live with without spoiling the originality of the car. So it's a unique opportunity. Like I say, they don't come up for sale very often as a right-hand drive British car. And it's a nice mileage, 75,000 miles with a full history. So bid, bid with confidence. It's one of the nicest ones I've seen. And you won't see another one very soon. Jules, what's it worth? Yeah, let's find out. Right hand drive. These are rare. And it is such a pretty car in mint condition, just there or thereabouts. Let's have a look at the Spider Duetto. Commission interest here. See, the internet hasn't come in. I'm, I am quite surprised at that. Commission interest here starts away at 28,000. 30 bid at 30,000 pounds bid with me at 30,000 on the Alfa Romeo Spider. Right hand drive, a UK supplied example from brand new at 30,000 pounds bid with me at 30,000. 32, 33, 34 if you like, sir. 34, commissions are out at 34,000 pounds. Bid right in the center of the room there at 34,000. Against you on the internet, against you everywhere else in the sale room as well at 34,000 pounds. Crikey, nearly lost my voice there. I have at £34,000, right in the centre of the room. Provisionally selling, submitting the bid to the owner for an answer at £34,000. Against you on the internet, I'm afraid to say it. Just £34,000 I have, right in the centre. Taking my commission interest out. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's provisionally selling at £34,000. Finish and done. Look sharp. Give me a shout anywhere else at £34,000. I will try. Oh, thirty-five. Thank you. Fresh bidder. Thank you, sir. Sorry I missed you. And a half at 35 and a half. It's against you. Gentleman further back at 35 and a half thousand. Great car. UK, right hand drive. 36,000 from you. 36 bid. And a half at 36 and a half bid. Against you, sir, at 36 and a half thousand. Right hand drive from new. Clearly very, very well looked after. Basically two owners. I know there was three, one was a company name. Same person. I'm sure you've looked closely through the history file. Great car. You'd look great in it, both of you. Trust me. <laughs> 36 and a half thousand pounds. What a machine. Look, we get left hand drive, well, we, we don't get left-hand drive ones that, that often in the sale room, but right-hand drive from you, very rare they come across. At £36,500, currently with a gentleman further back. Have to hurry you. At 37000 Two fifty, if you like, gentlemen. I don't like to see you shake your head. Currently at 37000 right at the front of the shop here at 37000 you know yourselves, right-hand drive from you, very difficult to come across, very well looked after, clearly loved and cherished at 37,250. It's against you again at 37,250. Such a lovely car. Another 250. Just think when we have some nice weather, First thing you'll do when you wake up on a morning, right, let's get the Alpha house. At 37,250. 37 and a half if you like. What do you think? Thirty-seven and a half? Bid. At thirty-seven and a half thousand pounds, bid at thirty-seven and a half thousand. Right at the very front at 37,500 pounds. Against you further back, I'm afraid to say, at 37,500 I have. On the very, very pretty. How much, sir? 750. Fill it up to 38,000 if you like. 
These are purchases with the heart, not the head. You have to, re you have to realize that. All that goes completely out of the window. You'll be driving home. Can you imagine the drive home? Dear me, I wish I'd had another 250 pounds. It'd be a... Yeah, it wet. Yeah, I know. You won't be driving that home, obviously. Not in the wet. We can trailer it home at 37,750. Yeah, I know. Are we on sale, gentlemen? Have we got in touch with the vendor? We're very close to the reserve. Are we on outright sale? Harsh, man. At 37,750. 38, if you like, to fill it up. All those happy memories yet to come. You know what I'm saying. At 37,750. We're on sale. We're on outright sale. If that, if that helps sharpen your pencil, I'm going to sell it. At 37,750 pounds, the gentleman further back, 38,000. Right at the front, at 38,000 pounds, but at 38,000. It's against you, gentlemen. At 38,000. Finished and done then, are we? I'm on outright. Thanks very much indeed for your bid. Sorry you've missed this one. Selling away at 38,000 pounds. Sold, and you're going to love that car. I'll guarantee that for you. 38,000 pounds. Just need your paddle number, please, if you don't mind. Five and five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Sold away at 38,000 pounds. Thanks very much indeed in the sale room. Commiserations, gentlemen. Commiserations. Sold away at 38,000. Send us um, send us some photographs. Oh, not not listen. Send us some photos when you're out in the car. We'd love to see you. Lot 121, ladies and gentlemen. 121 is the 1936 Alvis Silver Eagle Cross and Ellis 6 Light Saloon. Again, another massive mouthful there for your auctioneer. No reserve whatsoever on this one. Will be a great restoration project, this. Supplied with lots of parts. Original buff logbook as well, dating from 1945. Let's have a look here. I've got nothing on my book. Here we go. No reserve whatsoever. Where do you want to be, ladies and gentlemen? Is she worth 500 pounds? I think she is. Deserves putting back on the road, surely. No reserve whatsoever. She's here to sell. Five bid on the internet at 500 pounds, only bid at 500. At 500 pounds bid. Maiden bid. Off and running, and we're on sale, remember, at 500 pounds. 600, thank you. Internet against internet bidding at 600 pounds, bid at 600. Lot 121, ladies and gentlemen, 700. Alvis Silver Eagle Cross and Ellis 6, a light saloon. Loads of parts with it at, at 700 pounds, bid at 700. Sorry, Thomas, getting ahead of myself there, wasn't I? At 700 bid. Take 50 to the underbidder if they want to come back in, I think, on this one. At 700 pounds, bid at 700. Coming in again, if you like, for another 50 pound note. Currently going to Lancashire for 700 pounds. Be a nice motor once this one's put right again, of course, at 700 bid. Finish and done. I'm amazed you're not having a bid, Will. I'm amazed you're not having a bid. I thought this had your name written. No money. Well, that's a lie. At 700 pounds, only bid at 700. I've heard it all now. At 700 pounds, no money. At 700 pounds, finished and done. Selling away on the internet. Make no mistake in the room, at 700 pounds, I'm selling. Sold away at 700 pounds to you on the internet. 3533. Three, 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 three. Sold away. Thanks very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Look, one, two, two. 1927 Lincoln Model L limousine. Here we are. Here's a slice of 1920s luxury for you, ladies and gentlemen. Currently unregistered, but it does come with all the paid documentation. Now, if you're not sure how to register these cars, we can talk you through that process. It's very straightforward. I've done it myself many times. I used to import cars from Japan back in the day. It's very straightforward. As long as you've got all the correct paperwork and documentation, which we have, proves that it's been imported correctly and all the tax has been paid. Uh, great specification on this one. Great interior on as well. It's a 5.9. Listen to this. Have you heard this, Paul? 5.9 liter flathead V8. Three-speed manual. This is going to sound good as well, let alone look good. 
Superbly patinated opening windscreen with the sun hood on her as well. Looks a million dollars, this one. Original specification luggage case as well. Interest here with me on the lovely Lincoln. Starts your way at nine and a half, 10 bid at 10,000 pounds. Bid with me at 10,000 on the Lincoln, ladies and gentlemen, at 10,000 pounds. Great looking machine here at 10,000 pounds. At 10 bid. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at 10,000. Next bid's 10 and a half, if you like, anywhere else. 10 and a half, thank you, sir. 11 bid. 11, five, 750, 12, if you like. 12 bid, I'm out. At 12,000 pounds bid. In our sale room now, at 12,000 pounds. Seated bidder, at 12 bid. On the Lincoln, ladies and gentlemen, at just 12,000 pounds. Seated bidder. 12,250, internet against you now, so you've taken my commission out, now you've got to deal with the internet, I'm afraid. 12 and a half, still in our sale room at 12,500 pounds bid. 750. 13,000, at 13,000 pounds bid now at 13,000. 13 and a quarter. I know they all say that when they're bidding against the internet. 13 and a half. At 13,500 bids, 750. 14,000, thank you, sir. At 14,000 pounds bid in our sale room at 14,000. You're out on the internet, make no mistake. And I'm on outright sale. At 14,000 pounds, disappointing Thomas at home, I can tell. Look at the look on his face at 14 bid. In the sale room, selling away, outright sale. On the 1927 Model L Lincoln, make no mistake at all, you're out at home. Fair warning then, one last time I'm selling away at 14,000. Yours, sir, you bought it, very well done. 72, the buyer, at 14,000 pounds. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalog, lot 123. 123 is the 1972 Jaguar E-Type V12 Roadster. Uh, it is original, left-hand drive. American example, imported into this country. There's a huge history file with her from America as well. I'm sure you've looked in the documents office. Very, very bonny example, this one. Drives and presents exceptionally well here in the sale room as well. Automatic transmission, V12 Auto Roadster, showing round about 61,000 miles. Interest here with me starts your way at 35. 38 bid, just 38,000 pounds bid with me at 38,000. Next bid's 40 if you like, ladies and gentlemen. On the E-Type V12 Roadster Auto at just 38,000 pounds. Fill it up to 40 if you like anywhere else. Currently at 38 bid. On my commission book then, 40,000. I've got 42 still, I'm afraid to say. Sorry about that at home at 42 bid. Left-hand drive, E-Type Jaguar. Great color. Great history file from America as well. 44, is that, Thomas? 44,000. It going to France. I've got, I've got to get on to uh, uh, odd numbers here. 45,000 I've got. At 45,000, bid with me at 45,000. Against you in France, I'm afraid to say it. 45,000 pounds. 46,000. 47,000. Still with me at 47,000, bid at 47. Still on my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at 47,000 pounds. Coming in again, if you like. It's against you in France, I'm afraid to say. Like I said, the great, clearly you won't have viewed it from France, but a great history file with this. 48,000, my commissions are out. Up 48,000 pounds bid. With you in France. Villene, I think you pronounce that. I'm not quite sure. I think that's, yeah, I'm sure you'll write in and tell me from France, but there we go. Up 48,000 pounds bid. Against my commissions now, you've taken them out. Against everybody in the sale room as well. Absolutely sure. On the American specification, left-hand drive, V12, Roadster Automatic. Great history file on her as well at 48,000 pounds. Finish and done on the internet. It is provisional with Thomas then at 48,000. I know, I know, I know, waving away on the mezzanine, I know. 48,000 pounds, provisional, provisional. Oh, dear me. There's, there's one in every sale room, isn't there? Provisional at 48. We'll try for you in France. Don't worry. We'll be back in touch with you as soon as we've spoken to the vendor. 5970. 5970. Oh, here we go. Next lot. This is the one, Paul, for me. If I could take one car home from today's sale, it would be this. 1992 
Toyota Celica GT4 Turbo four-wheel drive. It's the WRC Carlos Sainz edition. I'm all ears, mate. Tell me about this one. Jules, thank you, mate. You're excited for this car. I'm excited for this car. Judging by the internet, they're excited for this car. We're all excited about this car because they don't come up very often. Everybody knows this was the year Carlos Sainz, Toyota Team Europe, absolutely obliterated while rallying. And to celebrate, they created this, the Toyota Celica Carlos Sainz edition. This is the dad, not the one that's racing in Formula One now. Now, they're rare anyway. They're rare as imports. As a UK car, they've pretty much all gone. They've all rusted away. They've all been crashed. This one has, has an exceptional amount of money with our vendor, who's had the car for the last three or so years, has spent £15,000 sorting out what all the UK cars have, which is frilly arches, frilly sills. That's all been done. Prop shaft's been done. Turbo's been done. Discs and pads. All the money you want to spend, this car has had it. So it's a very rare, true homologation car. We know that 90s cars are good news. We know that homologation cars are incredibly good news. And look at the top of this market with cars like the 22B, the P1, the Type R. This car, I think, represents incredible value. Use it, enjoy it, because the mileage is sensible. But I think this, Jules, is money in the bank. I really do. What's it worth, mate? It's definitely money in the bank. Whoever buys this is going to be over the moon. I used to have a narrow body. You know the Jap spec narrow body in 1990 GT4? Not the Carlos Sainz. Loved it. Great car. Had the super sound speaker system in. This one doesn't, of course. But, yeah, if, if it wasn't red, sorry about that to the vendor. If it wasn't red, I'd be having this one myself. I'm fed up with red cars. I've got too many. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look at this one. The Group A homologation special GT4 Carlos Sainz. Uh, internet's been pinging away and it's taken me out, of course. I did have uh, 9,500, but you've had 10, 10 and a half bid at 10 and a half thousand pounds bid so far in Cornwall at 10 and a half thousand pounds on the Carlos Sainz. 11 bid at 11,000 pounds, only bid at 11,000. Like Paul said, all the usual rotten parts on these, the sills, the rear arches, it's all been done for you. Car looks very, very pretty. Interior is fantastic. I can tell you that for free. Really nice example at 11,000 bid. At 11,000 pounds, only bid at 11,000. Somewhere in the United Kingdom at 11,000 pounds. Looks absolutely for nothing to your auctioneer. 11,250. In Ireland, no surprise there. We know you love these in Ireland. In Limerick, at 11,250 pounds bid. At 11,250. Coming in in the sale room, surely you cannot find these cars at all. UK one, there was one of only 440, I think it was, that was sold in the UK. Five, thank you, 11,500. I'm going to root for you, sir, seeing as you come to the sale room. Genuinely, like I said, I had a narrow body one, loved it. It's what, sorry? All right, okay, just sell it to you. I'm not of the reserve, though, that's part of the problem. 11,750, 12 bid. And a, qu and a quarter, thank you, 12,250 bid. Back in the sale room at 12,250, 12 and a half. 750, thank you. At 12,750. And I'll sell it to you currently at the moment. So let's see what the internet has to say. Currently, you're buying it. 13,000. Good car. 13,250. You're out. You're sure. Can't tempt you. Damn. Good car. You'll regret this one, I'll tell you. 13,250 <laughs> on the internet. 13 and a half, still on the internet, still selling away outright. Just, just tell me if you want to step back in at any point in time. At 13,750, if it was black, I would have had it. Or metallic, you know the turquoise one they do? Metallic, to, oh, I like, that's, I'd really like one of them. 13 and a half thousand bid on the internet at 13,500. Coming in again, if you like, 13,750, still going. Going to Cambridgeshire, Ely in Cambridgeshire. 14,000, back in Limerick. It must be right, sir. Everybody wants it all over the UK and Ireland. Everybody's bidding at 14,000 pounds. Not that I'm trying to rob you, but 14,000 pounds bid. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere in the sale room. Coming in again, anywhere, if you like, on the internet. Selling away, make no mistake at all. On the Carlos Sainz, Toyota Celica at 14,000. Fair warning, one last time at home, 14 and a quarter. Still going at 14,250 pounds bid. On the WRC, homologation special, Carlos Sainz, GT4 Turbo Celica at 14,250 pounds. You're out in Limerick. 
You're out in the sale room as well. Make no mistake, selling away this time at £14,250 she's going to go. Dear me, that was close at home. 14 and a half back in Limerick. Don't want to miss your bids at £14,500. Fair warning in Ely in Cambridgeshire. Absolutely sure, slipping through your fingers. Against you in the sale room, selling away this time into Limerick at £14,500. Finished and done. Sold away this time at £14,500. Well done in Ireland. 7520 sold away. What a great car that was. Absolute cracker. Lot 125, ladies and gentlemen. 125. I'll come to those. Don't worry. I'm just waiting for a quiet moment. Yeah. Lot 125 is the 1990 Ford Fiesta XR2 injection. No reserve, ladies and gentlemen. So sharpen your pencils on this one, showing a little bit on over 69,000 miles. March next year, the MOT in original and unmodified specification, with the glass sunroof, electric windows, original, listen to the internet, bang it, oh, well, no wonder. You're only at 900 pounds. No wonder the internet's going wild. Dear me. Thomas, need to have a word with you. Anyway, no reserve, nothing on my book. We've got 1,500 bid on the internet. 1,600, 1,700. Still going at 17. No reserve. Where's everybody's hands? XR2i, no reserve, 1,800. Come on, everybody. 1900. Nobody come for this one. 2000. Thank you, sir. I've got you in the sale room now at two bid. In the two one internet. It's against you, sir. Against you in the sale room at 2100. 2 2. Thank you. Back in the sale room at 2200. Next bid's 2 3, Thomas, if you like. Currently at 2200 pounds bid. No reserve whatsoever. Looks for nothing to me. At 2,300, internet bidder again at 2.3. 2.4, still on the internet at 2,400 pounds. You're all out, gentlemen, in the sale room. 2.5, at 2,500 pounds. What's wrong here at 69,000 miles? March next year, the MOT at 2,500 pounds. You'll be talking about this one on the way home, down the motorway. 2.6, at 2,600 pounds bid. 2.7, still going at 2,700 pounds. XR2, ladies and gentlemen. To nine at 2,900. Fill it up at home. Three bid against you in North Yorkshire. Three two back in North Yorkshire at 3,200. Three four at 3,400 pounds bid. Internet against internet. Three six. Three eight. See what I meant when you're at 900 pound. <laughs> 3,800 pound bid. <laughs> 3,800. 4,000. Still going in North Yorkshire at 4,000 pounds. Four two. At 4,200 pounds, bid at 4,200. Coming in again, if you like, at 4,200. If they run out of steam, just click it down one. I'll leave it up to you. At 4,200 bid, at 4,200 pounds, on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, against you all in the sale room, make no mistake, on the XR3, XR2, sorry, XR2 at 4.3, back in North Yorkshire, 4,400, 4,500, back in North Yorkshire at 4,500 bid. Internet against internet bidding there at 4,500 pounds. Finish and done. Oh, at 4,500, 4,6. At 4, against you in North Yorkshire. Finish and done. Absolutely sure. Fair warning, 4,7. Shropshire from nowhere. 4,8. At 4,800 pounds bid at 4,8. Still going, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,800 pounds. XR2i. 69,000 miles, nearly a full year's ticket on her. I'm selling her away. Fair warning, look sharp at home for nine. At 4,900 pounds, fill it up to five and bid. Thanks very much indeed at home. At 5,000 pounds bid. At five bid, have to hurry at home. Can't keep this one open forever at 5,000 pounds. So fair warning, one last time, five one. At 5,100 pounds bid, five two. At 5,200, they don't want to stop Thomas, do they? At 5,000, we could be here for some time. At 5,200 bid. Finished and done. Absolutely sure at home. 5,3. Still going at 5,300 pounds. On the XR2 injection. 69,000 miles. 5,4. At 5,400 pounds bid. At 5,400 pounds. Fair warning. Finished and done at home. Please bid quickly. We're in 100 pound increments. Don't want to miss you on the hammer, but I'm selling her away. 
One last time then at £5,400 finished and done. Sold away at home at 5400 One nine at 58 sold away. 5-4, that was, wasn't it? 5400 Lot 126, ladies and gentlemen, 126 in your catalogues is this absolutely wonderful. It's really bonny car, this one. The 1929 Ford Model A Sport Coupe. Lots of these cars are lined up in our second hall there, one after the other. Look great if you want to get a photo of them, all the, all the radiators together. This one's fitted with the 3.3-litre uh, four-cylinder engine. Original specification interior. It has the opening windscreen, rear dicky seat on her as well. Was imported into the UK in 2016 from Pine City, Minnesota. Currently unregistered, but is supplied with the Nova documentation, proving that all the import duty has been paid. Like I said earlier, very straightforward to register these cars. We can help you out with that if you're not sure how to do that. So don't let that put you off bidding. Fender states it has been running and driving within the last 12 months. Unfortunately, its battery is flat. It needs another 6-volt battery, but it does turn over. Just needs recommissioning, ladies and gentlemen. Very good-looking uh, Ford Model A. I'm in at 45485 bid at £5,000. Bid with me at 5000 on the Model A at just 5000 5255 586 bid. Thanks anyway for your bids at £6,000. It's good to see you, Tommy. Thanks for your bids. But at £6,000, I have bid at £6,000. Next bid, six two if you like. Currently at just £6,000. Good-looking Ford Model A Sport Coupe here. At £6,000, bid at £6,000. On commission against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just £6,000. 6264. Still with me at 6400 bid at 6400 six, 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 eight. Seven if you like at home. You won't be disappointed with this one. Seven bid, I'm out. At £7,000, bid now at 7000 on the internet with Thomas. At £7,000, very bonny. Ford Model A here at £7,000 bid. Still staying £200 increments at £7,000. We've got you at home. At seven bid in Gloucestershire there. At £7,000 bid. Finish and done then. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. I will submit the bid. It is provisional. At £7,000 with Thomas. In Gloucestershire, against you all in the sale room, then at 7,000. We will try for you at home in Gloucester at 7,000 pounds provisionally selling. 7646. Thank you at home. Another update for you, ladies and gentlemen. One of the bikes that we had earlier, lot 53, the Yamaha FZR 750, sold away at 1,150 pounds. Not a bad little bike, that actually, at that kind of money. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 127. It's the 2007 Mercedes-Benz SL350. Automatic, uh, showing round about 118,000 miles. October this year, the MOT, just two previous owners. It's in an individual color combination. I think this is the one with the Oxblood uh, leather, isn't it? Oxblood leather on this one, I think it is. Is it, is it not like a brownie? Yeah, don't they call it? All oh, right, okay. Well, I'm wrong then. Brown, brown in theory. Drives very well. Just as well Damien knows what he's talking about. I clearly know nothing. Nothing on my book on this one, I'm afraid to say, apart from a £1,500 throwaway bid. So I'm going to say there's nothing on my book because that's nowhere near. 3500 internet bid. There we go. We'll take that one. Provisional. At £3,500 bid now at 3500 on the World Wide Web. At three and a half thousand pounds. It's against you in the sale room. Make no miss three eight. I've got you, sir. Thanks very much indeed. At three eight. At three thousand eight hundred pounds bid at three eight. Four thousand. At four thousand pounds bid now at four thousand. Coming in again if you like. Four two. Thank you. Fresh bidder on the mezzanine. At four thousand two hundred pounds bid at forty two hundred. Individual color combination here on the SL three fifty at four thousand two hundred pounds bid. It's against you at home. 4.5 at £4,500 bid, provisionally selling at £4,500 bid. On the World Wide Web, ladies and gentlemen, at 4500 Look sharp everywhere else. It is provisional. Submitting the bid then at £4,000. we are on sale, thank you, at £4,500. Selling away then. Make no mistake whatsoever at £4,500. Finished and done. 
against you all in the room at four and a half. Sold away at 4,500 in Herefordshire there. 5385. Thanks very much indeed at home. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 128 in your catalogues. That's the 1988 Ford Escort XR3i. And we're going to get Paul Cowlin's lowdown on this one. Dear me, he's not there. Well, where is he? Everybody asks. Where is he? Is he coming? Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourself. Well, there you go. Well, I'll say a little bit about it. It's only 2,919 miles. One owner from new. Great color combination. Yeah, yeah, I know. There he is. <laughs> There's the man. Great color combination. Now, what I'm going to say is it has Bristol Street Motors window stickers. So I'm going to ask Paul, and I'm going to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, are they still in business? Bristol Street Motors. They are still in business. There we go. Well, let's hope they're on the internet to buy this one back as a little showroom queen. We'll wait and see. Do you? Well, seeing as you're from Bristol, that's no surprise, is it, for Bristol Street Motors? Anyway, Jules, I'm back. Down. I'm back. Back we, from an impromptu lunch you. break. Thanks, we guys. You, Paul. So, what can we say that Jules was not about to say in the fact that this is an incredible opportunity? Fast forwards, we know a good news. If it's got an XR or an RS badge, it's always going to sell. People want this. What's incredible about this is the mileage. As Jules said, basically 3,000 miles, all original, everything. And what you always look for in a fast forward is inside. Look at the seats. Look at the interior. Look at the steering wheel. Look at the grain that's still on the top of the steering wheel. You will never get a chance, I don't think. You'll never get one, again, in this mileage, in this condition that needs nothing. And you could do one of two things. You could either tuck it away as an investment, or I think, George, you could buy this, put another five, 10, 15,000 miles on, still be a great mileage car, and still have some money in it. So if you are a Ford collector, buy it. If you're looking for a practical, usable classic, because at the end of the day, it's just an Escort underneath, here's an amazing opportunity. It will not come up again, I don't think, with this mileage on. So, Jules, what's it worth? Well, let's find out. Microscopic, the mileage, isn't it? Under 3,000 miles from new. Interest here on my commission book on the XR3i starts your way at 15, 16, 17 bid. At 17,000 pounds, bid with me at 17,000. 18,000, thank you at home. 19,000, still with me at 19,000 bid. Very, very low mileage, ladies and gentlemen. Great color combination. Good history file. Had the Campbellton major service back in February uh, just last year with the original book pack and wallet at £19,000 bid with me at £19,000. £20,000, I'm out now. At £20,000 bid on the World Wide Web at £20,000. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else at just £20,000 bid. £21,000, got you, sir, on the mezzanine. Fresh bidder altogether at £21,000. In the original specification, from stem to stern, not been modified, not been messed with, all the MOT certificates in the history file back up that documented mileage. You're out at home currently at £21,000. I have bid in the sale room. Gentleman who's come to bid and view the car at £21,000. You're out at home, I'm afraid, sale. So take 21 and a half. Thank you, Thomas. At £21,000, I currently have. Bidding on the mezzanine, ladies and gentlemen. At 21 and a half. Thank you. Fresh bidders. At too slow on the internet. Taking the gentleman in the room. 22,000 internet. Both of you are out, 22 and a half, still going in the sale room at 22 and a half thousand, on the ground floor at 22 and a half thousand pounds. At 23,000, internet bidder now at 23,000. Again, you're both out, gentlemen. I've got on the internet at 23,000. 500 again, if you like. Possibly unrepeat, thank you, 500. Possibly unrepeatable with this kind of mileage at 23 and a half thousand pounds, bidding our sale room at 23,500. Still against you at home, I'm afraid to say. I'm on outright sale. Thanks for that, gentlemen, up on the mezzanine. At 23,500, you're currently buying it, gentlemen. At 23,500 pounds, it's against you at home. Make no mistake whatsoever, 24,000. You need to ask the boss again. He's going to say yes. I, I can see it in his eyes. At 24,000 pounds, I'll take 250. 250, thank you. 
at 24,250 bid. In our sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at 22 and a quarter. Look sharp at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer. Make no mistake at all, I'm selling away against you at home in the sale room at 24 and a quarter. Sold away, you bought that one, gentlemen, at 24,250. 152. 24,250 sold away. Thanks very much indeed. Great car there. Absolute cracker. Whoops. Wrong way on that one. Next lot is lot 129. I'm so used to giving them to George. You, you know what I mean? Lot 129. 129 is the year 2000 Porsche 911 Carrera 2. Wow. Loads to say on this one, of course. In its original specification, uh, showing uh, 111,500 miles manual transmission on this one. June this year, the MOT, but there was no advisories on that MOT whatsoever. Last service just back in June 23, when she was MOT, no doubt. 15 stamps in the service booklet. The IMS bearing upgrade. Everybody asks about this. The IMS upgrade has been done along with a new clutch back in 2016 at 102,000 miles, according to the history file. With the original book pack, loads of old MOT certificates going back to 2003, which was its first one, of course. Uh, loads of invoices, like I said, with the specification sheet, very comprehensively specced when it was brand new, including those GT3 alloys. And I've said so much about it because it's such a nice car. Interest here, starts you with, I know you've got 8,000, I've got eight and a half. Sorry about that. At eight and a half thousand pounds, bid with me at eight and a half thousand on my commission book. Nine thousand is that. Nine bid. Nine and a half. Still with me at nine and a half thousand pounds, bid at nine and a half. At nine and a half thousand pounds. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at nine and a half thousand. Fill it up to ten if you want to return. Such a nice car. Ten thousand. I've got two fifty at ten thousand two hundred and fifty pounds, bid at ten two fifty. Ten and a half. At ten and a half thousand pounds, seven fifty. At ten thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds, still against you. Like I said, lovely example. This one, very nice spec when she was brand new with the GT3 alloys on from new. Loads and loads and loads of old MOT certificates. Eleven bid, IMS bearing upgrade done as well at eleven thirty, and we're on sale at eleven thousand pounds. Bid eleven thousand. We're on outright sale, ladies and gentlemen. Eleven bid. With you in Cheshire, not going far, at £11,000, only bid at 11000 Selling away, make no mistake. Great car here, ladies and gentlemen. You're leaving it behind in the sale room to our internet bidder with Thomas, but at £11,000, 250 if you like anywhere else, or I'm selling away. At £11,000, finished and done, you're absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. Sold away on the internet at £11,000. 145. That's a very early number. One. Right, okay. Sold away. Sold away. Uh, lot 130, ladies and gentlemen. We move on to lot 130. Another one of my favorites in today's sale. The 1971 Daimler Sovereign 4.2 litre. It's in a really... The, the cut, it doesn't look... It looks quite nondescript in the photographs, to be honest. But when you look at it in the flesh, it's like a very strange kind of khaki color. It looks... Really suits the car, I think, this colour. Time warp condition, it says here. It certainly is very, very tidy interior when you sit in the chrome, even the chrome inside, um, to move the seat rest. Not pitted. It's really nice condition inside. Loads of history. Only two previous owners and a very reluctant sale, and I could only agree with that. I wouldn't want to let her go if I owned her myself. Reluctant sale, ladies and gentlemen, I'm straight in at £7,000. At £7,000, bid with me at 7000 On the Daimler Sovereign, 4.2 litre at just £7,000, bid at 7000 Maiden commission interest, ladies and gentlemen, at 7 bid. On my commission book then at £7,000. Coming in, if you like, anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, 7500 bid on the mezzanine. Thanks for that, Thomas. At 7500 Sorry to miss you, sir. At £7,500. You can have a word with me later about that, about not doing my job properly. It's £7,500 bid. Up on the mezzanine at 7500 Great car, this one. Nobody else come for I can't believe that. At just £7,500 I have bid on our mezzanine at 7500 Finish and done then, are we? You're absolutely sure. I will submit the bid if that's all we're going to see. Thought this would do a little bit better, surely, at £7,500. Great looking car. I like the colour. 
Great inside as well. Interior is in really nice condition at 7,500. Can't tempt anybody else. Submitting the bid then at 7,500 pounds. Finished and done everywhere else. We will try, oh, 8,000. 250 if you like. 250 at 8,250 bid against you in Hampshire. Please look sharp. Have to hurry at home at 8,250 pounds. Bid in our sale room. It's provisional. We will try at 8,250 bid. Provisional. Number 63. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, it's lot 131. 131. Please bid quickly at home. We nearly missed you there. If I got all my words out to say we will try for you, I wouldn't have taken that one. Lot 131, 131. Alfa Romeo, GTV, 2 litre, twin spark, 16 valve. No reserve. Get ready on this one, ladies and gentlemen. What a cracker we've got here. A little over 38,000 recorded miles. Manual transmission, MOT till uh, May this year. Only a short test, but in really nice condition. Two previous owners. There's 15 services she's had since 2007. Clearly been well looked after. Campbell was done just last May. Very original. What's not to like here? Very sharp, suited Italian coupe. Lots of interest here. I'm straight in at 1,500, 1,800, 2,000. At 2,200 in the sale room, all my commissions are out at 2,200 bit. At 2,200, 24, 26. At 2,600 bid, on my right, 28, 29, 3,000, 31, 32, 33. You sure, gentlemen? At 3,003, 34 internet, 35. Still going at 3,500. Shout if you want to come in anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. At 3,500 pounds, I've got bid in the sale room. At 3,500 pounds. Against you on the telephone, George. You're out. Thanks anyway on the telephone. At 3,500 pounds. What do you think, gentlemen? Is it worth another, another 100 bid? 50 bid. 3,550. Three... Three, six. You sure? Was it going to be your car? Oh, right, okay. I what a great car, though. At 3,600 pounds, but at 3,600. You sure, gentlemen? At 3,600 pounds. Thanks anyway for your bids. Much appreciated. There's a few more to come yet. You never know. At 3,600, selling away in the sale room then at three, six. Yours, sir, 122. What a lovely car that was for 3,600. Sold away. Ooh, next lot is lot 132. Well, here's a surprise. I was going to say I'd hand over to Paul Cowlin, but I'm actually going to hand over to a pre-recorded Will Phelps. There we go. Let's see what you've got to say, Will, on the big screen, I take it. Oh, 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 sorry, Julian. I was just having a, a, a mid auction nap. Well, well, welcome to this lovely 1970 Volkswagen Camper. Now, this one's very interesting, actually, because if you can make your way down here, Phil, it's fitted with a 2.4 litre six cylinder Corvair engine, which actually looks factory fitted, as you can see in there. So it's a perfect camper, lovely patina on it. It's come from America. And you won't, it's one thing to certain, you won't be scared of hills in this one because that 2.4 cylinder will propel you right up them. Lovely leatherette interior with the rock and roll bed, which I've tested out and is fantastic. She's on the button and ready to go. So Julian, back to the studio and let's see what she makes. My goodness gracious me. Well, I don't think Tom Cruise has got anything to worry about there, has he really? We look forward to the BAFTA nominations. Lot 132, ladies and gentlemen, the 1970 Volkswagen. Thanks very much, Will, for that introduction, by the way. The 1970 Volkswagen Type 2 camper van, there we are. 
Fitted with the 2.4 litre Chevy Corvair six cylinder engine. First time I've come across this mod, but apparently it is quite common in the States. Like Will said uh, on his uh, video reference there, it does look genuinely like it's factory fitted. It just fits like a glove. Uh, imported into the UK in 2011, recommissioned uh, in uh, 2023. 1,000 pounds was spent getting the back on the road then. Great looking vehicle here. Has been well loved, well used with the rock and roll bed as well. Interest here starts you at five and a half, six and a half bid. At 6,500 pounds bid with me at six and a half thousand. On the Type 2 camper van at six and a half thousand pounds. At six and a half bid. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just six and a half thousand. I can't believe nobody wants this one with the Chevy Corvair. 2.4 litre six cylinder engine. This one will, ro will just romp up the hills. You'll leave all the other T2s behind at six and a half thousand pounds. Bid with me on commission at six and a half thousand. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just 6,500. Seven surely wear at six and a half thousand pounds. Nobody for on the internet. Can't believe it at six and a half thousand. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, you're leaving it behind then at 6,500 pounds on the Type 2 camper. Absolutely sure. Well, you do surprise me both in the sale room and around the globe on the internet at six and a half thousand pounds finished and done. That one is not sold, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great, great bus there. I really do think you're missing a trick. Please have a word with us. Have a close look at it. It's parked outside. Have a close look. Have a word with provisionals. We'll let you know where you need to be. But I'm very, very surprised we didn't manage to sell that one first time around. But that is not sold at that kind of money. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogs is lot 133. 133 is the year 2000 Rolls-Royce Silver Seraph. Showing on my left there, just 39,000 miles there or thereabouts from new. One of just 369 right-hand drive uh, Silver Seraphs produced. Seven stamps in the service booklet by main dealers and Rolls-Royce specialists. With the Lambswool overrugs and a Motorola car telephone. Do you remember them? Car telephones. That used to be the future. Crikey. There we go. Now we carry them all around with us. Don't we? Can't be without them. Motorola in-car telephone. That'll shock the neighbors. With the Avon tires, let's have a look here. Great car, been very, very well loved, well used, well rallied abroad as well with the Rolls-Royce Enthusiast Club. Interest here starts your way at um, 18, 20, 22 bid at 22,000 pounds. Bid with me at 22,000. On the Silver Seraph at 22,000 pounds. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 22 bid. Lovely motor car here at just 22,000. Like I said, well loved, well rallied, in fantastic condition. At 22,000 pounds, bid with me at 22,000. Coming in again if you like. Next bid's 24. At 22,000 pounds. Absolutely sure. Nobody else for a ladies and gentlemen at just 22,000 pounds. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at just 22,000. Finished and done already, are we again? You're all very quiet in the sale room. 24,000, thank you. At 24 bid. At 24,000 pounds bid. Nearly fell over there, didn't you? <laughs> At 24,000. Finished and done then. At 24,000 pounds against my commission interest. It is provisional. Submitting the bid on our mezzanine area. At 24,000 pounds against you all. Provisional. Number 63 at 24,000 pounds. Provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in catalogue, lot 134 is the 1998 BMW Z3M Roadster. Let's have a look here, showing round about 60,000 miles, MOT till February next year. Three former keepers in her original specification. Great service history on this particular one as well. With a factory hardtop as well. There is a factory hardtop with it. Let's have a look. Interest here starts your way at 10 and a half, 11 bid at 11,000 pounds. Bid with me at 11,000. Z3M Roadster, ladies and gentlemen, 11,000 bid. Great example, great service history at just 11,000, 500, 12,000, 500. I'm out now at 12 and a half thousand pounds bid at 12 and a half thousand pounds on the Z3M at 12 and a half thousand. Against my commission interest, against you on the World Wide Web as well at 12,500 pounds. 
Next bid's 13, if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Great car, great color combination, great history file as well, with the factory hardtop at 12,500 pounds. Absolutely sure everywhere else at just 12,500. It is provisional, submitting the bid. Rather reluctantly, we're quite a way off, but at 12,500 pounds, finished and done. At 12,500 pounds on commission against you all then. That is 1,025 at 12,500 pounds. All right, okay. L uh, another couple of updates for you, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 8, the Suzuki. This was in the bike, Suzuki DL250. Sold away at £1,600. Lot 49, the BMW. This again is in the bikes. BMW R1200GS. Also sold away at £3,900. There we go. Don't want to get sold off, do I? Dear me. Crikey. It's like having my mum working with for me. Lot 135, 135, the 2010 Mercedes-Benz SL350. Just two owners from new, 60,000 miles, there or thereabouts on the clock. Automatic transmission, August this year, the MOT, last serviced in December. Very good looking motor car, this one. Quite an aggressive stance on these. Great color, great specification as well. Interest here starts me at uh, five and a half, six and a half bid at just 6,500. All oh, right, let me get that. Okay, well, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine if you like, sir, nine bid at 9,000 pounds bid in the sale room at 9,000, nine, five, 10,000, 10 and a half. You sure? Great spec, great color. Thanks for your bids anyway. Ten and a half thousand pounds bid at ten and a half. On outright sale, ladies and gentlemen. Eleven thousand. Telephone against you, sir. Eleven and a half. Still going in the sale room at eleven and a half against you, George. Twelve bid. Twelve and a half. Thank you, sir. Still going in our sale room at twelve and a half thousand pounds against George's telephone. Thirteen. Thank you, George. At thirteen bid. What do you think, sir? What about a quarter? 250, the gentleman says in the room at 13, 250 bid. Keep your fingers crossed. <gasps> Telephone, terrible. 13 and a half. 750 again, if you like. 750, thank you, sir. Against the telephone at 13,750. In our sale room. You're out on the telephone with you, sir, at £13,750. Like I said, great looking car here at £13,750. Finish and done. Fill it up anywhere else or I'm selling away. Gentleman's bid at £13,750. Yours, sir, at £13,750. Thank you. Number 51. £13,750. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogue, lot 136. Here's a very special car introduced by a very special person. It's the 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX Wagon. Hello, everyone. It's like a rerun of Savage Hunter's classic cars because I'm here with the grade mate, Drew P, sofa magnate, hat magnate, fridge magnate. So, mate, this is a very special car to you because you've had this car a while. But tell the story. Come on, you can tell the story of this car better than I can. Okay. Um, I've, I bought my first one of these in 2004. And since then, I've never been without one. They're my favorite car. Uh, this one, um, I found, a, we got through a friend of ours called Connor. I wanted to build a fast road car that looked completely standard, that hadn't, but also one that hadn't been crashed or welded or modified in any way, and it had to be the five door, which was my favorite. And found this one through Connor and then gave it to Richard at Tuned. And so he's been through it with a fine tooth comb. Everything's been off underneath. It's, it's got the best of everything underneath it, really. Richard said to me, he said, I can't make it go any faster, but I can make it that you don't have to back off. Yeah. And it's, that's basically what the car is. So it's a really fast, fun road car. And um, the guys at Manor Park, you, you've sold nearly 10 of my cars now in the last 18 months. This is the one I really didn't want to get rid of. Here's his true, he's really sad. And as I say, can't stress enough. So Connor, who Drew bought it from, was at the time the PR guy for Michelin. So of course, it's got a very lovely set of Michelins on it. 
Richard, who's actually Ash Sutton's British touring car mechanic, the guy that's won four championships, he is the guy that's done all the prep work on this car. So as Drew says, all the suspension off, everything bushed, everything painted and powder coated, new exhaust, new brakes, alignment. It's wanted for nothing, has it? It's, it's had everything that I wanted done to it done, and I just left the outside a little bit scruffy because I didn't want it to look flash or modified. I wanted it to look like, you know, your gran was using it. Yeah. And uh, it's mildly lowered. Um, everything underneath has been powder coated, rebushed, uh, handmade exhaust. The engine has been breathed on. A, it's had a little bit done to it. Cheeky map. Uh, a little bit done to it. Um, it's just a really good car. Oh, short shifter on the gearbox as well. Just a really, really good car. And it pains me to get rid of it. So there you go. Proper little Q car. So just drive it around going very quickly within the legal speed limit or go on track and spank everybody and really upset Porsches. So yes. Jules, what's it worth? Thanks very much, Paul. And thanks, Drew, for that very detailed introduction there on what's clearly a very well put together motor car, the 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX wagon. The internet's been pinging away. Currently, I'm going to ask Thomas, where are you at? 4,800 on the internet. I've got 5,000. At 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000. 5,2, five, 5,4, five, 5,6. Five, oh, crikey, I'm on the wrong leg here. 5,8. No, at 5,800 pounds. Next bid's 5,9. Okay, 5,800 pounds. Bid with me at 5,800. At 5,800 pounds, bid at 5,800. Great to see you, by the way. Must be worth another 100 pounds, surely. At 5,800, 59, 6,000 I've got. Put together, screwed together properly. I was bidding myself at 5,000. I'm a bit of a cheapskate compared with you. 6,1. Commission's out. At 6,100 pounds, bid at 6,1. Against you on the mezzanine, against you everywhere else in the sale room. At 6,100 pounds, bid at 6,100. On the World Wide Web. Great WRX wagon, 62. Thank you, sir. At 6,200. Thanks, George. At 6,200. Against you on the internet, against you on the mezzanine as well, and against me. At 6,200 pounds, bid at 6,200. Right in the center of the sale room at 6,200. 63. Back on the World Wide Web, sir, at 6,300. You sure? I genuinely had a bid on this myself. You've been really well screwed together. I think you'd have to go a long way to find one with this kind of spec again. At 6,300 I have on the internet. Four if you like, sir. Thanks anyway for your bids. At 6,300 pounds. Finished and done in the sale room. Absolutely sure. Selling away then. At 6,300 pounds on the World Wide Web. Sold away at 6,300 pounds. 7,705. Sold away. Lot 137, ladies and gentlemen, 137 in your catalogs is the 2006 BMW 318 CIM Sport Convertible. Manual gearbox on this one, 101,000 miles there or thereabouts. July uh, this year, the MOT, full book pack with her in the original factory specification. No reserve whatsoever. I'm in, let's have a look. Oh, nothing on the internet yet. I'm in at um, 800, 900. 1,000, 11 bid at 1,100. Ooh, 12, 1,500, 1,800, 2,000 bid at 2,000 pounds, only bid at 2,000. On the internet, ladies and gentlemen, at 2,000 pounds. In Staffordshire, at just 2,000 pounds bid. On the BMW convertible, M Sport convertible. Two, what are we taking? Two, two, thank you, sir, at 2,200. That was the next bit increment on the internet at 2,200 bid at 2,200 pounds against you on the World Wide Web. Make no mistake at all. Fair warning. Selling away in our sale room. Two, three. Two, four. It's against you, sir. Seated bidder at two, four. Two, five, if you like. Two, five. Two, five, fifty. You're out. Thanks anyway for your bids at 2,550 pounds. Two six, fresh bidder. Thanks anyway for your bids at 2,600 pounds. Finish and done everywhere else. You're absolutely sure. Selling away then. On the M Sport convertible at 2,600 pounds. Finished and done. 
2650, Internet. Sorry, sir. 27 if you like. Yeah? 27. Thank you. Back in the sale room at 27. Against you at home. Fair warning at home. 28. Oh, 2750. Sorry. In, in Denbyshire. It's going to Wales currently at the moment at 28. 50 again if you like. 2850. Thank you. Back in our sale room at 2850. Have to hurry at home. Just to be fair to the gentleman in the room selling at 2850. Sold. You bought that one, sir. 574. Thanks very much indeed. 2850. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 138. It's the 1923 Willis Overland Model 92 Red Bird Touring. First time I've had one of these actually to sell. Imported from Pennsylvania in 2016 into the UK. Uh, very original specification interior. The engine does run on this one, ladies and gentlemen. We've had this one running, converted to indicators. One of only 642 manufactured. Currently unregistered, but we have all the importation documents, so we can sort that out for you. Very straightforward, like I've said before. Here we are on the Redbird Touring. Interest here starts your way at five, five, two, five, five. At 5,500 pounds, bid with me at five and a half thousand. Again, looks very little money to me. One of only 642 manufactured back in the 1920s. How many of those can still survive today? Not very many at all. At five and a half thousand pounds bid. We have had a running, ladies and gentlemen, at five and a half thousand pounds. Next bid's five eight if you want to come in in the sale room. Currently at five and a half thousand pounds. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, maiden commission interest against you all around the globe and against you in the sale room as well. Five eight, six thousand. Still with me, Thomas. Six two, six five. At six thousand five hundred pounds, bid at six five. On the red bird touring. Six eight. I've got six nine. Sorry about that in Gloucestershire. I've got six nine. Seven if you like. On the red bird touring. At six thousand nine hundred pounds, bid at sixty nine hundred. On the Willis Overland Model 92 Red Bird Touring at £6,900 bid. Fill it up to seven if you want to. One of only 642 models produced, imported back in 2016. We've had a running. Finish and done then. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at £6,900 finish and done on commission. That is 4065, 4065. £6,900. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogue is lot 139, the 1971 Volkswagen Type 2 camper van. Only three former keepers. She's on Porsche 924 Turbo Alloys. Looks pretty decent. Imported from Germany back in 2006. It's the 1.6 litre engine. Rock and roll bed in her. Has that high roof, so you can actually stand up in it. The Type 2 camper, interest here, on commission, starts your way at 3538, at just 3,800 pounds, bid at 3,800, 4,000, 42. No, at 4,200 pounds, I have bid at 4,200. Very little money here for this camper, at 4,200, high top camper, Porsche 924 alloys. At £4,200, bid at £4,200. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at just £4,200. For nothing, surely. Type 2, high top camper, rock and roll bed in her as well. Three former keepers. At £4,200, bid at £4,200. Give me a shout if you want to come in, ladies and gentlemen. You're out on the World Wide Web as well at £4,200. At £4,200. Thought this would have been one for you, Peter, actually. Can't tempt you. Good to see you, though, anyway. But at £4,200, bit at £4,200. Finished and done, then, are we? Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at just £4,200. On commission, then, at £4,200 against you in the sale room. That one is not sold, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid to say. Too far away from that fixed vendor's reserve. If you have a genuine interest in that one, please either give us a ring or have a word with provisionals. We'll let you know where you want to be, but that one is not sold at that kind of money.
couple that have though, ladies and gentlemen, have been passed over to me. Uh, in the motorcycles again, lot 16, the aerial V8, VH500. Sold away at 6,250. And lot 15, that fabulous Honda C100 Super Cub. Should have had a bid myself, I think, with the transferable reg. Sold away at 2,200. So we'll keep those coming for you. Lot 140, ladies and gentlemen, is the year 2000 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6 Tommy Mackinnon edition. Over to you, Paul, on this one. Well, this, Jules, is very much a bit of me. You and I love JDM stuff. We love really tuned, modified yeah, Japanese cars. So in a former life, I used to import cars from Japan, same as Jules did. And this is one of those magic cars, like the Carlos Sainz GT4, Tommy Mackinnon Evolution, to celebrate what Mitsubishi were doing in the World Rally Championship at the time. And I can't stress enough, guys, this is not a Tommy Mackinnon alike. This is a genuine Tommy Mack. And what's interesting now, the prices of standard Tommy Mackinnons, you wouldn't dare do this now. You wouldn't dare modify a car. Because I've seen these goes at places like Appreciating Classics for 17 to 80,000 pounds in standard trim. I personally think this car is a bit of a masterpiece. I won't go through the full spec list now because it will make the auction run until 7 p.m. if I do. But if you are seriously interested in bidding, have a look at the spec sheet. There isn't a part of this car, whether it's engine, internals, manifold, map, clutch, strut brace, suspension wheels, you name it, intercooler, radiator, it's all been upgraded. To do a car to this standard would probably cost more just in parts than what you might be able to buy this car for today. So to me, this represents something of an absolute bargain, a genuine Tommy Mackinnon, to do one of two things with this car. One, enjoy it because it's sensationally quick, exactly as it is. If you want to look at it as an investment car, put some of it back to standard. I do think there's an enormous profit to be made if you do. Either way, really good car with very good bones. Annihilate everything on the road or make a few quid. Either way, brilliant car. Jules, what's it worth? This is, to use Fuzzy's phrase, stonking. Yeah. Yep, like this one. Genuine Tommy Mac, like Paul said, loads of money spent on it. We have over 50,000 pounds worth of invoices in the fact, over 50 grand spent on it. It's amazing. Many original parts are with the car, as Paul said again. You could start to put it back to normal spec, but I keep her as she is. What a street warrior this one is. Interest here starts you at 15, 16, 17 bid at 17,000, 18, 19, 20, 20,000 pounds bid on the World Wide Web at just 20,000. Absolutely for nothing, 21,000 in our sale room at 21,000 pounds bid at 21,000. Coming in somewhere else, surely 50 grand's worth of invoices on this one, ladies and gentlemen, at 21,000 pounds bid at 21,000. At 21,000 pounds. Finished and done already. I can't believe that at 21,000. Tommy Mackinnon. Genuine Tommy Mack. Evo 6. All this money spent on her at 21,000 pounds bid in our sale room at just 21,000. Against you on the World Wide Web, against you everywhere else at just 21,000 pounds. Finished and done already, are we? At just 21,000. I will submit the bid if that's all we're going to see, ladies and gentlemen. You're absolutely sure. At 21,000 pounds. Absolutely for nothing, surely. Why isn't everybody's hand in the air at £21,000? Against you at home as well, at £21,000. £21,500 internet against you, sir. On the World Wide Web, at £21,500. Proper, proper machine, this one. Dear me. At £21,500, £22,000, surely. All the proper bits and bobs on it. 22,000 bid in our sale room at 22,000 pounds. You're still out at home, I'm afraid to say. Same applies for you at home. All the proper parts are on here. 50,000 pounds worth of invoices for as well. Proper, proper street warrior, this one. Like Paul said, would annihilate anything else you came across. I'm absolutely confident of that. Would embarrass some proper, proper exotic machinery. £22,000 bid in the sale room against you at home. Make no mistake at all, it is provisional. Submitting the bid, make no mistake at home at £22,000 finished and done. I will try for you, sir. If that comes in at 22, that'll be fabulous. Just need your paddle number, please, if you don't mind. Just need your number. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not your telephone number, just the paddle number. 136, thank you. 136, 22,000 provisional. There we go. Lot 141, ladies and gentlemen. 141 is the MGBGT. 
Lot 141, the 1976 MGB. No reserve on this one at all. In the rare Citroen Yellow, which I think sets the car off really well indeed. I mean, these turn up all the time. British Racing Green, Old English White, Red. You know, this one looks pretty decent. With the manual overdrive gearbox, over £1,600 spent in the last 12 months. Does have the rubber bumpers and the older style dash in it as well. Transitional model there. Lots of interest, no reserve at all. Where are you at, sir? Thousand on the internet, so I'll be kind to my commission bidders. I've got uh, 1,112 bid. At 1,200 pounds bid with me, 1,300, 1,400. Still with me at 1,400 pounds bid at 1,400, 1,500, 1,600. Thanks anyway for your bids at 1,600 pounds bid at 1,600, 1,700. Got you in the sale room, 1,800, 1,900. Thank you, sir. You've taken all my commissions out. At £1,900, bid at £1,900. Coming in again, if you like, on the internet or anywhere else in the sale room. 2000 thank you, sir. At £2,000, to one. Further back, at £2,100, bid at £2,100. Gentleman with a rather racy cap. To two. To three. Still against you. I've got 2300 further back. To four. To five, to six. What do you think, gentlemen? Two six fifty. Thank you. They're playing your game, sir. They're at two six fifty now. You started it at two six fifty. Everybody's following suit. Two seven. Thank you. Two seven. Fifty. Two eight. At the front, at £2,800, bid at £2,800. 50 to 9 50 3000 I'll still stay in 50s, gentlemen. You're out. Thanks anyway for your bids. Much appreciated. At £3,000, bid at £3,000. Right towards the front, then, at £3,000. I'll take 50 anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, or I'm selling away. Outright sell, no reserve, remember, at £3,000 she's going. Sold away at 3000 that is 554. We got one for you eventually. 554, sold away at £3,000. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 142, the 1929 Graham Page Model 612 Coupe with Briggs coach work on this particular one. One of only 12, count them out there. Graham Page is in the country. Uh, showing round about 41,000 miles, imported from Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, in 2013. One owner since it was brought into the country. 3.1 litre side valve engine, producing 62 brake horsepower, three-speed manual gearbox on her as well. There we are, looks very tidy inside, doesn't she? For 1929, there we are, the Graham Page. Interest here starts your way at five, five, two, five and a half. At five and a half thousand pounds, I have bid at five and a half thousand. It's against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at five and a half. Five, eight, six thousand. Six, two, six, five. Six, eight. I've got six, nine, seven if you like, sir. Seven bid, I'm out. At seven thousand pounds bid on the mezzanine. Against my commission interest at seven thousand. Seven, two internet now, sir. 7.4, thank you. Back in our sale room at 7,400 bid. 7.6. Still on the internet. It's on the World Wide Web, sir, against you. And I'm on outright sale. Thank you up there on the mezzanine at 7,600 pounds. I'll take 7.7, seeing as we're on sale, sir. Currently at 7,600 pounds bid on the World Wide Web. Give me a shout anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in. At £7,600 with Thomas's clients. Where are we at? Gloucestershire. At £7,600. Against you in the sale room. Finished and done. Outright sale. Selling away. 7 7 Thank you, sir. Back in. At £7,700 bid. Against you. Against you at home. Gentleman's bid in the sale room at 7700 Selling away. Outright. Make no mistake whatsoever at home. Finished and done then, are you? Fair warning. One last time from your auctioneer at 7 7 you bought that one, sir, at 7,700. Just remind me of your paddle number, please, if you don't mind. Just the number on your paddle. Just need your paddle number. Is it, was it? I can't remember what it was. Just 
140. Yeah, that's it. 7,700 was that. 7,7. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Sold away to paddle number 140. Got there eventually. Lot 143. 143, ladies and gentlemen, is the year 2000 Porsche Boxster 3.2S manual. Second 3.2S manual we've had in the sale. MOT till November this year, showing round about 73,000 miles. Loads of invoices and receipts with this Boxster. Well maintained throughout its life. Drives and presents very well indeed. In red, with the tan leather. Interest here, no messing about again. These, these bids are right on the money again. I'm in at 4,000, 42, 45, 48. At 4,800 pounds bid with me at 4,800 pounds bid on the Porsche Boxster. 5,000 on outright sale, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out, 52. Got you, sir. Thanks very much indeed in the sale room at 5,200 pounds bid now. At 5,200 pounds bid. Against you on the World Wide Web, against my commission interest, against you further back. I couldn't get you in. I've taken the gentleman at the front at £5,200, bid at 5200 Five three, Internet. Five three fifty. Thank you, sir. At 5, I should have guessed. At 5350 bid. 5-4, five, fresh bidder. 50. 5-5, five, five, 50. 5-6, five, 50. 5750. No, nope, you sure? Thanks anyway, sir. 5750 bid. Against you on the telephone. 5750. Selling away outright. 58. 50. At 5850 bid. Against your telephone, George. Gentleman's bid in the room at 5850. 59. 50 at 5,950 bid. Fill it up to 6,000, George. 5,950 I've got in the sale room. Six bid and 50. Still going at 6,050. Sorry about that, George. Get him to bid 7,000. That, that'll sort it out. He said that the telephone bid is at Aintree at the National. How many winners has he had? Just ask him how many winners. 6,050. And has he got a tip? He's got any tips for us? 6,050. Gentleman's been in the sale room. Have to hurry on the telephone. Absolutely sure, George. I'm selling away. Fair warning. 6 1 on the internet. 50 at 6,150. Still against you on the telephone at 6,150 bid. Against you on the internet at home. Against you on the telephone. At 6,150. Fair warning on the internet. Sold. You got it, sir. 6,150. It's 554, isn't it? 6,150. Sold away to 554. Lot 143, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogs is the 1987 Ford Capri 1.6 laser. Just four former keepers from new. Uh, has had a recent respray, original specification inside and out, engine bay and the boot floor do present very well indeed. I'm sure you viewed her, showing um, around about 80 and a half thousand miles. Manual transmission, of course, the 1.6 laser. Interest here starts me at six, five, six, eight, seven thousand. At seven thousand pounds, bid with me at seven thousand. Four Capri 1.6 laser here at seven thousand pounds, only bid at seven thousand. Maiden commission interest, ladies and gentlemen, at seven thousand pounds. Against you all in the sale room, seven two, seven five, seven eight is your bid, sir, at seven thousand eight hundred. You've taken my commissions out at seven thousand eight hundred pounds bid in our sale room, and it is provisional. I will submit the bid. Fill it up to eight thousand anywhere else if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Currently at seven thousand eight hundred bid. At 7,800. Give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in anywhere else. Currently at 7,800 pounds. Finished and done then, are we? Selling away on the Capri. One, sorry, provisionally selling at 7,800 pounds. In the sale room then at 7,800. We will try for you again, sir. 554. 7,800 provisional. Get an answer for you as soon as we possibly can. Next lot in your catalogs, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 145. It's the 1991 Honda Concerto 1.6 EX. 
And again, Paul's out of a job. We're going to go to Damien this time. He's on the stage, but he's now going to be on the big screen. Let's hear what you've got to say, Damien, about this one. Right, Jules, here's something you don't see every day. 1991 Honda Concerto. 68,000 miles, and the condition is fantastic. I mean, this is 30 plus year old car. The red paint is properly glowing still. I suspect it's probably spent a lot of time in the garage. Inside is possibly even better. We've got beautiful Tweedy interior. It's all original. Huge amount of spec on these cars, even heated wing mirrors. So, you know, and you just don't see them anymore. Let's see, uh, let's see what it goes for. Over to you, Jules. Thanks, Damien. That was tremendous. I think you and Will need to start a boy band. Yeah, together. Well, he's not listening, is Will? He's far too, far too engrossed there in his uh, computer work. Anyway, the Honda Concerto 1.6 EX. Let's have a look here. Automatic transmission. August this year, the MOT. Very, very rare. Completely unmolested. Well, I had only £400, but I know the internet uh, has been pinging away, Damien, while you were very kindly giving us a description of this car. Currently, we're on 2,200 bid, at uh, 2,200, 24 in the sale room now at 2,400, 26 internet. You're out, sir, at 2,600 pounds. We never find another in this condition, I'm sure. Absolutely immaculate, 2,600 pounds on the World Wide Web. I'll take 27 if that'll help you. 27, thank you. Back in the sale room at 2,700, 28 internet. Sorry about that, gentlemen. 2,800 pounds bid at 2,800. On the World Wide Web with Thomas at 2,800 pounds bid. Finished and done against my commissions to nine, 3,000. Still going at 3,000 pounds bid at 3,000. Absolutely fantastic car for Haggerty's Festival of the Unexceptional. Haggerty, our insurance uh, partner, of course, but... The car actually isn't an exceptional. I would definitely say, wouldn't you, Damien? This was definitely an exceptional one, without a shadow of a doubt. At £3,000 bid now at 3000 on the internet, 3 one At £3,100 bid at 3 one Against you on the mezzanine, against you on our shop floor, down at the bottom there as well, at £3,100 bid. Finished and done. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at £3,100 on the internet then. With your clients, Thomas, selling away, outright sell at 3,100. Sold away at 3,100. 7378. Thank you at home. You're going to be pleased with that one. Great car there. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 146. 146. It's the 2006 Porsche 911 997 Carrera 4S. So it's the four wheel drive. Manual transmission on this one showing round about 91,000 miles MOT till February next year. Three previous owners on the V5. Great service history as well. I'm sure you've viewed the documents uh, in our documents uh, office. Sports exhaust on it. Drives and presents very well indeed. The Carrera 4S. Interest here starts me at just 12 and a half. 13 bid, just 13,000 pounds, 13 and a half, 14,000, 14 and a half, 15,000, 500, 750, 16,000. I'm out at 16,000 pounds, bid in the sale room at 16,000. On the 997 Carrera 4S at 16 bid. Gentleman's bid right at the front here, 250, 500, 750, 17,000. And a quarter, 17 and a half, 750, 18,000, 250, 18 and a half. You're out at the back at 18 and a half thousand pounds, bid at 18 and a half thousand, provisionally selling. Unless the owner's in and wants me to put it on outright sale, getting quite close to the reserve there at eight. We are on sale. Thanks very much indeed to the owner. At, eight, at 18 and a half thousand pounds, finishing done and selling away right at the very front of the hall. At 18 and a half thousand, she's going. Sold away. You've bought that one, gentlemen, at 18 and a half thousand. 147. Thanks very much indeed. 18 and a half thousand sold. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 147. It's the 1995 Range Rover 4 litre Vogue. 
late model, manual example, as it says in your catalog, of the original SUV, of course, the Range Rover back in uh, 1971, I think it was, uh, showing around about £188,000, a former police car. There you go, the police running around in Range Rover Vogues. Not a stripped down basic, but no, no, no. If I'm on the M6, I want a Vogue, definitely, because I'll be stuck in traffic. I want a nice chair to sit in. Believed to be fitted with a John Eels 4-litre uh, V8 engine. Uh, has had quite a bit of money thrown at her over the last five years. Has been rust-proofed as well. Not a bad old bus, this one, at all. Um, nothing on my book. Where are we on the internet? Three bid at £3,000, bid at 3000 Internet bidder then at 3000 I've got you in the room at three two. At £3,200, bid now at 3200 Against you on the World Wide Web at three two. Three five. thank you on the internet. At 3500 three eight. straight back at you in the room. At £3,800, bid at 3800 4000 on the World Wide Web then at £4,000. Thanks for your bids anyway in the room. At £4,000, only bid at 4000 on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, at £4,000. On the Range Rover Vogue, ex-police car, at £4,000. You never know, Damien. You might have sat in the back of this once, uh, back in the day. You never know. <laughs> £4,000. Just need to have a word with you, sir, if you just want to step into the back of the vehicle. Many a time that's happened to me with Cleveland Police. Dear me, lot, lot 147 at £4,000, only bit at 4000 it's when I used to be driving all my 50 pound bangers and 100 pound bangers, I used to get pulled over all oh, genuinely, I used to get pulled over all the time when I was like 20, 21 years old. Granada gears, yeah. Just is this your car, sir? Lot of four, four thousand pound, only bit at four thousand, finished and done. Four one, still going up forty one hundred pounds, bit at four one, four two in Herefordshire, Hertfordshire, beg your pardon, at four thousand two hundred pounds bid, up forty two hundred pounds, up four thousand two hundred. Finish and done then. Absolutely sure. Fair warning to the underbidder. It is provisional. 4 3, still going up 4,300 with Thomas. 4 4, still going up 4,400 bid. On the Range Rover Vogue, ladies and gentlemen. Manual transmission on this one. October this year, the MOT. Believed to have the John Earl's 4 litre V8 on it. Up 4,400 pounds. Finish and done. Provisionally selling. Submitting the bid then, finish and done, absolutely sure at £4,400 on the internet. We will try for you at 4400 Three, six, three, five. Provisional, quite close to the reserve. We'll let you know at home as soon as we possibly can. Lot 148, 2002 Mini Cooper S R53. Early one here, ladies and gentlemen, in the launch colour as well. Launch colourway there of metallic blue and the white roof. Wheels have been refurbished with the book pack. Not many owners on her either, showing um, a little under 66,500 miles. Manual transmission January next year, the MOT as well. There we are. Nothing on my book. You're going to have to start me away, ladies and gentlemen, on this one. Where do you want to be? Is she worth 3000 to start me away? Too big. At £2,000 bid in the sale room at £2,000. We're off and running at just £2,000 bid. At £2,000. Next bid's 2 2 If you want to come in anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at just £2,000 bid. Maiden bid at £2,000. 2 2 thank you. 2 4 2 6 2 8 2 9 3000 Thanks anyway for your bid, sir. At £3,000, I have bid at 3000 on the R53 Mini Cooper S at £3,000, submitting the bid. It is provisional. We are quite a way off, but if that's all I'm going to say, I will, I'll see we will submit the bid at £3,000. Finish and done. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a shout. 3-2. Three, 3-3. Three, three. Back in our sale room at £3,300, bid at £3,300. Against you online, ladies and gentlemen, at £3,300. 3-4. 3-4.50. Thank you, sir. 3-4.50. 3.5, 50 at £3,550 bid, 3.6 internet, 3.650 against you in Cheshire at £3,650, 3.7, 50 at £3,750 bid, against you in Cheshire still, on the Mini Cooper S, 3.8, 50, thank you sir, at £3,850 bid. 
Still against you in Cheshire at 3,850 a half. Coming in again, if you like, ladies and gentlemen at home. Or are you finished and done submitting the bid? It is provisional at 3,850 pounds. And we're on outright sale. Thank you. Outright sale, if that helps you at home. Selling away. 3,950. Still going. Fill it up at home. On outright sale at 3,950 pounds. On the Mini Cooper at 3,950. Finish and done. Absolutely sure. Fair warning at home. I'm selling away. Gentleman's bid at 3,950. Sold away. 554 again. Thanks very much indeed. 3,950 sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, slot 149. 149 is the smartly presented and well looked after 1992 Mercedes-Benz 230CE. 13 stamps in the service booklet, 12, 12 of which are main dealers, showing uh, a little under 76,000 miles. Automatic transmission, February next year, the MOT. Quite a few old MOT certificates we have on file. Has the original unused first aid kit. Always nice to have uh, little bits and bobs like that with the car. Original book pack and wallet. Good looking Mercedes Coupe here. Interest here with me starts your way at, uh, let's have a look, 283,000. At 3,000 pounds, bid with me at 3,000 pounds. On the Mercedes 230CE, 32, 34. Still with me, 36, 38. Four bid, I'm out. At 4,000 pounds, bid in the sale room now. Against you on the internet, I'm afraid. At 4,000 pounds, gentlemen's bid in the sale room, 4, 2, 4, 4, 4, 6. No, thanks anyway. £4,600 bid. Nice to see you again, sir, by the way. At £4,600. Normally, you're right at the front. Yeah, at the back this time. At 4, 000, just confusing me. At £4,600. At £4,600. You're out on the telephone. At £4,600 bid. Very close to the reserve. Is the owner in? Do they want me to put it on outright sale? I wonder at £4,600. Provisionally selling. Make no mistake at all. Gentleman's bid in the sale room at £4,600. Finished and done. It's provisional. 4 8. Right of the death. Thanks anyway. At £4,800. Still provisional. Finished and done then at 4800 Provisional. Number 63. 4800 Provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 150 in your catalogue. And here is a genuinely rare car. Never imported any of these. I don't know if you did, Paul, but we're going to go over to you for the 1992 Nissan Pulsar GTIR. Oh, dear. No sound. No sound, but we do have vision. Oh, technical, bit of a technical uh, issue there going on, which is a shame because I know, I know Paul would have told us all about this. He would love this car as much as I did. One former UK owner. There you go, Jules. We've got a working microphone now. Brilliant. That's all right. So I didn't ever import one of these, but I wish I did. We are spoiling you with homologation cars today. We've had the Carlos Sainz, we've had the Sierra Cosworth, we've had Impreza's. This was Nissan's Group A World Rally, and they did rather well with this car. And of course, in order to get the World Rally Championship, they had to homologate some road cars. In the UK, we got the Sunny GTIR. In Japan, they got the Pulsar, which is much cooler. And a bit like the Mackinnon, a bit like the Cosworth, this one's very lightly modified with some really nice, useful stuff. So BC coilovers, you can see, Ultra Leggera wheels. It's got K-Sport six pot brakes, so better brakes, better suspension, nicer wheels. But where it counts, all standards. So standard seats, standard bodyworks, really unmessed about with, and loads of histories. I think these are probably the last bargainous homologation car, and I don't think that can last for long. If you look at the prices of everything else, and this would be a very easy car to put back to standard and make a lot of money on, look at Subarus, look at Mitsubishis, look at what the higher mileage Celica went for earlier. I think this, again, homologation cars, can't stress it enough, Genuine competition cars are money in the bank. So, Jules, what's it worth? Let's find out, Paul. Proper piece of kit here. Or as Paul said, you could put it back to standard. Could put it back, but nicely screwed together, this one, that's for sure. Lots of good parts on it. I'm in at six and a half, seven, 
and a half bid. 8,000 internet at 8,000 pounds, bid now at 8,000 pounds. Looks absolutely for nothing, doesn't she? At just 8,000 pounds. That's bonkers at 8,000. 8, five in Merseyside at 8,500 pounds, bid now at 8,500. I can take you in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me a shout. Nine bid, thank you. At 9,000 pounds, bid now at 9,000. You're both out on the internet at 9,000 pounds. I have bid in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at 9,000 pounds. Like I said, looks absolutely for nothing to your auctioneer at 9,000 pounds, nine and a half internet. 10 if you like, gentlemen. Currently at nine and a half thousand pounds. Very, very little money at nine and a half bid, 10,000, thank you. At 10,000 pounds bid at 10,000. On the Nissan Pulsar, GTIR. February next year, the MOT, no advisories whatsoever showing round about 57,000 miles. It's in kilometers, but it equates to around about 57,000. At 10,000 pounds, I have bid in the sale room at 10,000. You're out at home, ladies and gentlemen. At 10,000 pounds, I'll take 250 if that'll help them at home. Thomas, 10,250. Same favor, sir. 10 and a half if you like. Nissan Pulsar GTIR at 10,250 pounds. Bid at home on the internet. County down currently going to Ireland. No surprise again. Love these cars at 10 and a quarter. 10 and a half if you like, sir. Currently at 10,250 bid. Finishing done then, are we in the sale room? You're absolutely sure. I will submit the bid, 10,500. Internet against internet bidding now. We're in Lancashire at 10 and a half thousand pounds. You're getting left behind, sir, by the internet now at 10 and a half thousand. Still creeping up there at 10,500 pounds. Looks great value. Honest to goodness, ladies and gentlemen, 10 and a half thousand pounds. Nobody else come for her in the sale room. Does surprise me. Thought this one would have really romped away at 10,500 pounds. You're out in Ireland at 10,500. Another 250 surely in Ireland at 10,500 pounds. Finishing done. Absolutely sure. Fair warning then. 10,750. Back in County Down at 10,750 bid. Fill it up to 11,000 pounds in Lancashire if you want to at home. Currently at 10,750 bid. On the Pulsar, ladies and gentlemen. Homologation special at 10,750 pounds. Fair warning at home. Finishing done. 11 bid. At 11,000 pounds, bid now at 11,000. Still going at 11. Back in Lancashire, 11,000 pounds. It's against you in County Down. At 11,000 pounds, finish and done again. Fair warning from your auctioneer. One last time. At 11,000 pounds, it's provisional. With Thomas in Lancashire at 11,000. We will try for you. 11,000 pounds provisional. 6691. See what we can do there uh, once we've spoken to the vendor. Lot 151, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 151 is the 1926 Buick Master 6 sedan. No reserve whatsoever on this one. Does require restoration. Has a six-cylinder overhead valve engine. Fisher coach work on it. Imported from Long Beach, California back in 2013. Currently unregistered, but is supplied with all the paid importation tax documents as well. No reserve, nothing on my book, so I'm assuming you've all come to the sale room to buy this one, or you're at home on the internet. The internet's been pinging away. We're currently at um, 900, 1,000, 1,100 bid. At 1,100 pounds, bid at 1,100, 1,200. I've got you, sir, in the sale room now at 1,200 pounds, 1,300. 1,400, thank you. Back in the sale room at 1,400 pounds, bid at 1,400. Against you at home, ladies and gentlemen, 1,500 bid. Thanks anyway for your bid, sir, at 1,500 pounds. Nice to see you here again, by the way. Lovely to see you. 1,500 pounds bid at 1,500. Back on the World Wide Web at 1,500 pounds. Finished and done in the sale room, are we? You're absolutely sure. 1,600, back in. Change of heart in the sale room at 1,600 bid. You'll never find another one, will you? Never. 1926 Buick Master 6, you're out at home. Make no mistake, fair warning, 1700. I'll take 50 from you, sir, if you like. 1750, thank you. At 1750 bid in our sale room. 1800. Thanks, any. You've said no before, of course. You may change your mind if I stay up here long enough, but at 1800 pound bid at 1800. Coming in again, if you like, at 1800 pounds bid against you in the sale room. 
in Lancashire on the World Wide Web at £1,800, finished and done, selling away. You're all out in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at £1,800. I'm selling, sold away with you, Thomas, at 1800 689, sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, lot 152 is the 1959 Austin Healy, the little frog eye sprites. March next year, the MOT. Does have some period upgrades on it, ladies and gentlemen. Good history file as well with her. With the heritage certificate, comes with the side screens, the hood frame, and the roof as well. The little frog eye. Nothing on my book, I'm afraid, to say on this one. You're going to have to tell me, where do you want to be? Start me away at 6,000 on the frog eye, ladies and gentlemen. Start me at 6,000 pounds. Little frog eye sprite with the period upgrades. Start me at 6,000. Ooh, couldn't start it at that, sir. I'm sorry. We're too far away from the reserve. Six would be the minimum I could do to submit. I would submit it rather than just disregard it. But fixed reserve is quite high on this one, I'm afraid to say. So 6,000 to start me. No, that's okay. No problem. Nothing on the internet, Thomas. Start me away at 6,000, ladies and gentlemen. Six bid. 6,250, thank you. In the cell room at 6,250 bid at six and a quarter. On the frog eye sprite at 6,250. You're out at home, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake. I will submit the bid. Six and a half. 750 at 6,750 pounds bid in our sale room at 6,750. You're out on the mezzanine, taking the gentleman down here at 6,750 bid. Just make no mistake at 6,750 on 7,000 at seven bid. Seven one, thank you, sir. At 7,100, I'm so easy to deal with. You can't upset me at seven one, 7,100. At 7,100 pounds, against you at home, make no mistake at all. Little frog eye sprite here, period upgrades. March next year, the MOT 7.2. We're in Pembrokeshire again at 7,200 pounds bid. It's against you, sir, I'm afraid to say. What do you think? 7,200. 73, thank you. Back in our sale room at 7,300 pounds bid at 7,300. Against you at home, against your client, Thomas, I'm afraid to say. Not your bid in Pembrokeshire. At £7,300 I have, and it is provisional. Submitting the bid, make no mistake, at 7400 back in Pembrokeshire. Yes, okay, sir. Thanks very much indeed for your bids. Still got another 40-odd cars to go, so don't worry. At £7,400. Finish and done. Submitting the bid then at 7400 against you in the sale room. We will try, Thomas, won't we, at 7400 Provisional. 7643, provisionally selling. Uh, one that has gone, ladies and gentlemen, lot 103, the Triumph TR4, sold away at 15,000 pounds. Lot 153, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is uh, the 1999 Mercedes Benz SL320. Automatic transmission on this one, showing round about 92,000 miles. March next year, the MOT, very presentable car. Quite a number of invoices and receipts on file as well. Nice condition. We seem to have, we seem to have a, just, uh, just to point out, we've got the Mini Metro. We've got the wrong car there on the video wall. Mini Metro is coming up next, the MG Metro. So we actually want 153. 153, it's the Mercedes-Benz SL320, if we can find the right video. If not, you'll just have to put up with me. And Thomas and George and maybe Damien if he's on there. I don't know if we've got a wide shot and I don't know if it includes Damien. But anyway, there, there we go. Mercedes SL320. Interest here with me. Starts your way. Let's have a look at um, six, six, two, six, five at six and a half thousand pounds. Bid with me at six and a half thousand. On the Mercedes SL320 at just six and a half thousand pounds bid. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at six and a half thousand. Next bid, six eight, if you like. Currently at six thousand five hundred. Bid with me, made in commission interest at six thousand five hundred pounds. You're all very quiet in the sale room. Six eight, seven thousand. Still with me, ladies and gentlemen, on my commission book at seven thousand pounds. Bid at seven thousand. Against you at home and against you in our sale room as well at seven thousand. Seven two, uh, seven five at seven thousand five hundred pounds. Bid at seven and a half thousand. Still with me, ladies and gentlemen, at seven and a half thousand. Good mileage, great condition on this one. 
It's the 221 brake horsepower engine, five speed automatic gearbox, currently at seven and a half thousand pounds. Bid with me at seven and a half. Against you at home, ladies and gentlemen. Next bid, 780 if you want to come in. Very nice example, SL320. Nice interior on this one as well. 7.8, I'm out now at £7,800 bid. That's your bid at home, ladies and gentlemen, on the World Wide Web at 7800 We're on outright sale as well at 7000 Are we on outright sale, gentlemen? Yep, at £7,800 bid. Against my commission interest, selling away, make no mistake whatsoever. Bids with you in Surrey on the SL320 at £7,800. You're all finished and you're done. Sold away at 7800 Four, six, nine, three, sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, 154. Here we go. Now we can have the MG Metro. There we are. 1.3 litre, a little under 36,000 miles on the Speedo. August this year, the MOT, no advisories on that M uh, MOT. Has the factory sunroof fitted to her as well. Period radio. In fact, I've sat in this one. It's really, really Nice interior, trims in really good condition. Very smart example. Low mileage on this one as well. Interest here at 4,200. At 4,200 pounds, bid with me at 4,2. 4, 4, 4, 6, 4, 8, 5,200. I'm out at 5,200 pounds, bid at 5,200 in the salary. At 5,200 pounds. MG Metro here, low mileage. Great interior at 5,200 pounds, bid at 5,200. Coming in if you like anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at just 5,200 pounds bid. Gentlemen's bid in the seated area at 5,200. Next bid's 5,400 if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me a shout. Wave your hand in the air. Thomas will spot you if I miss you. Thomas is a lot younger than me. That's why he spots you a lot quicker than I do. His reflexes are a lot better at 5,200 pounds. Finish and done then, it is provisional. Submitting the bid on the MG Metro at £5,200. You finished and done. We will try for you, sir, at 5200 132 this time. 5200 provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, lot 155. Here's a car I haven't seen forever and a day. These were rare in period. 1988 Vauxhall Nova 1.6 GTE. What have you got to say about this one for us, Paul? What have I got to say, Jules? Uh, I would like to own this car very, very much. But I think the days of cheap Novas are long gone, particularly when they're in this condition and they've had this much work and this much money spent on. A lovely vendor has had a real labor of love here. He started with a very good car, but as you know, any Vauxhall of this era generally needs a little bit of metal work, and it's had it, rear quarters, inner wings, new struts, new exhaust system, new brakes, new tires, refurbished wheels. And if you come inside, look, they'll look. Really nice interior. And what they've gone for here, and going back to what we were saying about cars with a competition history, and of course these were phenomenally successful as a works rally car, and used to get a lot of class wins. If you have one of these cars in standard condition, they will always make huge amounts of money because so many people remember them in the max power era as cars they modified. This was so many people's dream car 30 years ago. But now is your chance to buy one, enjoy it, put it in your collection, make a few quid, but more importantly, just... What a fabulous looking car. Haven't they aged well, the Nova Jewels, don't you think? Yeah, I do with these, actually. Uh, it, it still looks a sharp car. I know that's one of my favorite words, but it really does. I think this color suits it as well, black. We've got the uh, three-spoke alloys on it as well. It just really looks the business. Like I said, these were rare cars in period. I did not pass many of these cars back in 1988 at all. Um, has 114,000 on the clock, but it looks like it's done 14,000 miles. Really has been restored to a fantastic standard. Very, very nicely done. Interest here starts me away at uh, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half bid at 10,500 pounds. Bid with me at ten and a half thousand. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at ten and a half thousand pounds. Nova 1.6, GTE no less, at 10,500 pounds, 11,250 is my bid, 11,250 bid. It's against you at home at 11,250 pounds. On the Nova GTE, 11,750 at 11,750 pounds bid, still on commission, 12,000. I'm out now at 12,000 pounds bid on the internet. 
with Thomas on the World Wide Web at £12,000. Commissions are out. At £12,000, only bid at 12000 Coming in again, I'll still stay in 250 increments if that'll help anybody in the sale room if you come for it. Like I said, looks like it's done 14,000 miles. 12250 at 12,250 pounds. 1.6 GTE Nova. Great color, really sets this car off with those three spoke alloys as well. At 12,250 pounds. With you in North Yorkshire, we're on outright sale, ladies and gentlemen. Fender's given us the nod at 12,250 pounds. Make no mistake at all. Sharpen your pencils. Won't see another one of these in the sale room for a long time. 12 and a half. Not that it's been screwed together just like this one. Great interior on as well at 12 and a half thousand pounds, bid at 12 and a half thousand. Coming in again if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Currently in Suffolk. Selling away in Suffolk at 12 and a half thousand pounds bid. Next one's 750 if you want to come back in. Still looks good value to me. If you ask Paul Cowland, he'd say the same thing as well. Not expensive at 12 and a half thousand pounds. Fair warning at home. Hovering away, you're coming in and going out again, but at 12,000, 500 pounds, finish and done. Fair warning, one last time, 750 at 12,750 pounds. Back in North Yorkshire at 12,750. Fill it up to 13,000. Back in Suffolk if you want to at 12,750 pounds. 13 bid, thank you in Suffolk at 13,000 pounds against you in North Yorkshire genuinely don't feel you'll be disappointed with this one at all if you haven't come i mean you may have come to view them of course and then gone home during our extended viewing period of three days but if you haven't you're not going to be disappointed at thirteen thousand pounds bid finished and done absolutely sure fair warning in north yorkshire i'm selling away suffolk bidder then on the internet at thirteen thousand pounds and i'm selling sold away at thirteen thousand pounds three eight Three, seven. Thank you at home. Lot 156. 156 is the 1990 Citroen BX16 TZS. Used to see these all over the place, didn't you? They were quite a popular car back in the day in the late 80s, early 90s. Automatic transmission on this one showing round about 69,000 miles. MOT till January next year. Lots of history with her. Quite a few invoices and receipts. No reserve whatsoever. What was that pinging away there? 500. I have 500 on the internet, but 600 with me. There you go, Thomas, at 600, 700, 800. No, 800 pounds, only bit of eight. Very little money, gentlemen. 900, 1,000, 1,100. I'm out now. Oh, is that right? 1,100 pounds, bit of 1,100, and I'm out. For nothing, honestly. Honestly, fellas, absolutely for nothing. At 1,100 pounds, bit of 1,100. Worth more in parts, surely. At £1,100, £1,200. Still going at £1,200 bid at £1,200. At £1,200 bid in Cyprus. There we go. So they've got to ship it to Cyprus. Show us how they value that car. At £1,200, only bid at £1,200. Bidders in Cyprus, ladies and gentlemen, at £1,200. Finish and done. No reserve whatsoever. £1,300. Against you in Cyprus, I'm afraid to say. Gentleman's bid in the sale room at £1,300. Bid now at £1,300. £1,400. <laughs> Thanks for your bid anyway. £1,400 bid at £1,400. At £1,400 bid. In Great Britain this time. 15 bid. Cyprus. Back in Cyprus at £1,500 bid at £1,500. At £1,500 only bid. Fair warning from your auctioneer. Please look sharp. Finish and done then, are we? I will sell her away at £1,500, 1600 Still going. We're rooting for you in Cyprus. Currently in Lancashire in the UK at 1600 Finish and done. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at £1,600. It's against you in Cyprus. At 1600 bid. Be a long time before we get another one of these in the sale room. They are very, very thin on the ground. Become very rare in this country. Not too sure how many are running around Larnaca. Not very many, I shouldn't think. But at £1,600 bid, finish and done. Absolutely sure in Cyprus, leaving it behind at one you You're back in. Thank you very much indeed. At £1,700 bid. Last chance, last roll of the dice everywhere else. Finish and done. Selling away at 1700 
Sold away. Well done in Cyprus. That's going to make a good story. Send us some 2319, 2319, 1700 pounds. Please send us in Cyprus some photographs when that car arrives and you're using it in the country. We'd love to see that. What a great story. Thanks very much indeed for joining us here in the sale room. Lot 157, 157, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1923 REO Model T6 sedan. We'll need some recommissioning. Currently unregistered as well, but we do have all the correct documentation to register it. Imported from New York State, USA, into the UK in 2017. Has a 4.2 litre overhead valve, six cylinder engine. Original specification interior. Oh, hello, has a Royce, I've seen this, Royce motor meter temperature gauge on the radiator cap. How nice is that? There we are. Right, eh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's quite canny. Stick it on me Audi TT. Just glue it on the front. <laughs> Next slide. Anyway, let's have a look. I probably would. I'm daft enough. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's have a look. I've got, um, let's have a look, 3,000, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 6 at 3,600 pounds. Bid with me at 3,600. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 3,600. Need some recommissioning. In nice condition, though, the REO Model T6 sedan at £3,600, bid at £3,600. At £3,600, with all the correct documentation to register here in the country, at £3,600. Maiden commission interest against you all in the sale room and against you at home. Make no mistake at all, at just £3,600, finished and done. Against you in the room and against you at home, at £3,600. Oh, three eight. I've got three nine in Buckinghamshire. There, I've got three nine at thirty nine hundred pounds. Bid at three nine. Fill it up to four thousand in Buckinghamshire. Surely, REO Model T six sedan needs recommissioning, but not in bad condition at all. Four point two litre, six cylinder, original spec interior as well at thirty nine hundred pounds. Bid at three nine. Coming in if you like. It is provisional at three thousand. 900 pounds, finished and done then, you're absolutely sure at home. Provisional at 3,900, that is 1001. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, next lot is lot 158. 158 in your catalogs is the 2001 Citroen Saxo 1.6 VTS. Uh, showing a little under 88,000 miles, MOT till February next year. One of just 135 UK examples registered on the road according to the DVLA. Thanks, Thomas. Very clean, unmolested example here. Lots of history. Just three previous owners as well. Interest here. Again, I'll have to go straight in because these commission bids are very close to each other. Everybody's valuing it round about the same money. I'm in at 4,545 four, bid. At 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000. On the Saxo VTS, 5.2's your bid, sir. All my commissions are out at £5,200 bid in the room. At £5,200 bid, Citroen Saxo VTS at 5200 Three previous owners, ladies and gentlemen, for you. At £5,200 bid, commission's out now at 5.2. I'll take 5.3 if you like, Thomas, from the internet or from anybody else in the room if you want to come in. Currently at £5,200. On the Saxo, VTS at 5,200. It is your bid, sir. It is provisional at 5,200. Finished and done everywhere else. Last chance then. Look sharp if you want to come in at 5,200 pounds. Finished and done. I will try for you, sir. Number 34 at 5,200. Provisional. Was somebody coming in then? Well, that's too late at all. We gave you absolutely ages there. No point. Currently, it's the gentleman in the room at 5,200 provisionally selling. Lot 159, 159, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogs is the 1965 Jaguar S Type. 3.8 a litre, this one. Um, automatic. Um, bit of a resto mod, this one. Previously owned by Lola Driver, David Edwards, no less. Cr on the chrome wire wheels. Professionally converted from um, manual to automatic transmission. Interest here on the S type starts your way at six and a half, six, eight, seven bid. 
at £7,000. Bid with me at 7000 on the S-Type, ladies and gentlemen, at just £7,000. Never seen them at this kind of money at £7,000. Not in this condition, anyway. It's £7,000 bid at £7,000. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at £7,000. At just £7,000. Next bid, £7,200 if you like. At £7,000 I have. Finished and done already, are we? Made in commission interest again at just £7,000. You're all out. Finished and done. Absolutely sure. Nobody else come for it. £7,000 on the S-Type Jaguar at £7,000 finished and done. That one is not sold, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Again, at home or anywhere in the sale room, please have a word for provisional bids. They'll let you know where you need to be. But that one is not sold at £7,000. I'm sure the next one will, though. That's slot 160, the 1991 BMW 325 Injection Sports. Over to Paul Cowland on this one. Thank you, Jules. I think, like you say, mate, I don't think we're going to have any problem finding a home for this because these are the car that everybody is trying to buy now after the E30 M3 has just gone ballistic. You can't really afford to buy an E30 M3 anymore. Those days have gone. That train has left the station. But if you're clever and relatively quick, I think you might be able to buy yourself the next best thing, which is the 325 Sport E30 with the M Technic kit. It is the purest choice. And these, again, were very successful little car. Factory roof, of course. You've got the deeper sports seats. And why out of this car, Jules? I'm not going to say it's immaculate. There's a few tiny bits of paint to do. There's a little bit of reupholstering to do in the seat. But it's got this amazing ownership record with so many bills, MOTs, receipts, 32 stamps in the book. So you really have got a car here that's been used. And actually, with these old Beamers, if they're doing higher mileage but with a great service record, as we all know, they will go on forever. And this is going to be one of those cars that goes on forever. So buy it relatively affordably, add some value yourself, and just have an awful lot of fun. One of the finest rear-wheel drive saloons of its era, and still magic today. But Jules, what's it worth? Well, we'll find out. Really honest car, this one. I, th I, I think that's the one thing to, t to impress to everybody at home that hasn't viewed the car. It's really, really honest car, this one. Right, let's have a look. 91 BMW 325 Injection Sport. Loads of interest, of course. Paul's told you all about it there. 32 stamps in the service book. Incredible. Been well looked after, well loved, well used. Interest here starts your way at eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve bid. At £12,000, bid with me at £12,000. I'm on outright sale straight away at £12,000. £12,500 bid on the internet now. My commissions are out at £12,500 bid. At just £12,500 only bid, £13,000. Got you in the room now at £13,000. £13,500 telephone with Carlos at £13,500 bid at £13,500. You're out on the mezzanine. £14,000 internet at £14,000. Please shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in. £14,500. Thank you. Back on the telephone with Carlos at £14,500 bid. At £14,500. £15,000. At £15,000 only bid at £15,000. and a half. George, I did show two telephones for this. That's fine. That's okay. £15,500 bid at £15,500. On the telephone with Carlos at £15,500. 16 bid on the World Wide Web. Against you, Carlos. 16 and a half. No hesitation against you at home there, to be fair. On the telephone with Carlos at £16,500, but at £16,500. Against you at home. Try £750 there, Thomas. We'll do them a turn at home. Real honest BMW. £750. It's £16,750. 17 if you like, 17,000 on the telephone again with Carlos at 17,000. 325 i Sport BMW at 17,000 pounds bid against you at home, ladies and gentlemen. I'm afraid to say, currently on the telephone at 17,000. 250 again if you like, surely at home at 17,000 pounds. I have slipping through your fingers at home. I'll have to hurry you. Fair warning from your auctioneer, make no mistake at all. I'll be selling her away on the telephone. With Carlos, against you at home, against you in the room as well, 250. 500, says the telephone, at £17,500. Still going on the telephone at £17,500 bid. Against you at home, make no mistake whatsoever, I am selling away. Fair warning at home, at £17,500, selling away with Carlos on the telephone. Sold away, £17,500. 
2001. Thanks very much indeed on the telephone. Sold away. Great car, that one. Great car. Hope we can find another one. Still a few left out there. You never know. We might get lucky with another one. Lot 161, 161, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1992 Mercedes-Benz 300 CE. There we are, showing round about 125,000 miles. Automatic transmission, March next year, the MOT, nearly a full year's ticket on it. Large history file with her as well. No reserve whatsoever. Thomas has got 800 pounds, is that correct? I've got 900. At 900 pounds, bid with me at 900. 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. Still with me at £1,300, bid at £1,300, £1,400. I'm out, believe it or not, £1,500. Still going at £1,500, bid, £1,600. Internet against internet bidding. Just give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come back in, £1,700. At 1700 bid, £1,800. Good-looking Merc Coupe here at £1,800, bid. Going to Norfolk currently. Did see somebody in Anglesey bidding earlier on, but at 1800 19 bid. In Cheshire at £1,900, bid at £1,900. No reserve whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. Bid on sale since the first bid at £1,900. Decent looking motor car, this one, two bid. At £2,000, bid at £2,000. In Hampshire now, I notice, at two bid. At £2,100, back in Cheshire. At £2,100, bid now at £2,100. Internet against internet bidding, ladies and gentlemen. Against you all in our sale room at £2,100, 2022. Still going at £2,200 bid. Two three at £2,300. Shout out, I'm missing you, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently at 2300 All the activity on the World Wide Web there. Right from the word go, virtually. Two four. Back in Hampshire at £2,400 bid at £2,400. Against you in our sale room at £2,400. Finished and done. Absolutely sure. Fair warning to the underbidder at £2,400. Two... Oh, yes, two five. Thank you. Got you, sir. Thanks very much indeed. Sorry to have missed you. At £2,500. In our sale room now at £2,500. At £2,500. Against all those internet bidders, fair warning. One last time from your auctioneer. Please look sharp at home. Two six. 27, got you. Fresh bidder at the front at 27. 28, if you like, sir, at the back. Thanks anyway for joining in at 2,700 pounds. In the sale room, in the seated area at 2,700 pounds. Against you all at home. Fair warning, I'm selling away at 27. 28, blame Thomas, not me. It's Thomas's fault at 2,800 pounds. 50, 2,850. Thank you, sir. Read each other's minds there, didn't we? At £2,850. Against you at home. Fair warning. One last time. To nine. You're running out of cars, sir. You'll have to be careful. At £2,900. 3000 Bid. In the sale room at £3,000. Bid now at £3,000. You're all out at home. Make no mistake at all. Next bid's 3-1. Finish and done. Are you at home? Last chance then. Selling away. In the sale room at 3000 Sold away, you've got one, sir, at £3,000. 142, thank you, 142. Sold away at 3000 Cool. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, lot 162 was the 1960 Austin Healey 3000 Mark One Up on the top ramp, but that was sold prior to the start of the auction for £28,000 plus all the buyer's premium as well. So that one was sold away. We move on in your catalogues. Make no mistake at all to lot 163. It's the 1923 Hupmobile Series R11 Touring. This is believed to be one, believe it or not, of only two known in the UK, unless, of course, anybody can tell us different and they have one tucked away in the garage or under the bed or in the loft or something like that in a barn. Four-door, four-seater, open tourer. Uh, it's a four-cylinder side valve engine on these. Um, let's have a look. The uh, Oh, yeah, I thought this was quite amusing, actually. I mean, this, this just tempts fate, doesn't it? It says, solid metal wheels with matching Firestone tyres with non-skid tread. Well, you'd want to try that out straight away, wouldn't you? I'd be straight off the road and suing them. Non-skid tread. There we go. Back in 1923, that's how they sold tyres. Currently unregistered, we have all the correct documentation, so don't worry at all. Imported into the UK in 2015 from Oklahoma. Come from Oklahoma. 
Uh, interest here on the Hubmobile starts you out just two, four, two, six, two, eight at 2,800 pounds. Bid with me at 2,800 on the Hubmobile at 2,800 pounds. One of only two known in the UK, 3,000. I've got three, one at 3,100 pounds bid at 3,100. Three, two, I'm out now at 3,200 pounds bid with you on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, at 3,200 pounds on the Hubmobile at 3,200. Coming in again, if you like. Anywhere in the room at just £3,200 in Northamptonshire. A lot of car there for just £3,200. One of only two at £3,200. Three, three, thank you. In Lincolnshire now at £3,300. At £3,300, bid at three, three. With the non skid tyres, three, four. At £3,400, bid at £3,400. Internet against internet bidding there at £3,400. With all the correct documentation to register, don't worry at all, ladies and gentlemen, if you're worried about registering this one at £3,400, bid at £3,400. On the Hubmobile at just £3,400. Coming in again, if you like, surely. Oh, we'll take £50 off them, I think, Thomas. See if we can creep up towards the reserve at £3,400. Can't say fairer than that at home, can we at all? Do you another £50 bid at £3,400. Absolutely sure. Hovering, hovering away. We've got one, two, three people hovering away there currently at the moment. At £3,400, bid at 3 4 At £3,450, if you like, again. At £3,400, finished and done. Fair warning at home. No point hovering. You need to get clicking. Finished and done at 3400 It's provisional. We will try for you at home at just 3400 Six six four three thousand four hundred provisional. Uh, lot one four seven, ladies and gentlemen. Update for you: the Range Rover Vogue sold away at five thousand pounds. We'll keep those coming for you as I get them. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot one six four in your catalogues. It's the year two thousand Jaguar XKR four liter coupe, showing round about sixty nine thousand miles. Automatic transmission, July. This year, the MOT, lots of invoices and receipts with it. Drives and presents very well indeed. Not many owners on her either. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, nothing on my book on this one, I'm afraid to say. Well, I did have a £1,500 bid, but that's nowhere near, so nothing on my book. Where do you want to be on this one? Start me away at £3,000, ladies and gentlemen, on the Jaguar XKR 4-litre coupe. Start me away at 3000 Three bid. At £3,000, only bid at 3000 At three bid. That's in Cheshire, ladies and gentlemen, at just £3,000. 69,000 miles, automatic, 3-2. Still going at £3,200 in Cornwall at 3200 Just give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, in the sale room, 3-4, thank you. Gentleman's been in the sale room now at £3,400. You're both out on the internet at £3,400. I have at 3-4, 3-6, internet, 3-8, back in the sale room now at £3,800, bid at £3,800. 4,000, bid on the, on the internet in Cornwall again at 4,000 pounds, bid at 4,000. You're out, I'm afraid, sir, in our sale room. At 4,000 pounds, I have bid at just 4,000 pounds. Coming in again, if you like, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,000 pounds, I have at four bid in Cornwall. Fair warning to the underbidders. Fair warning in our sale room as well at just 4,000 pounds. Dear me, thought this would have done a little bit better than that. Low mileage. I've got four one in the in four two. Four three. Four four. You're out, sir. Thanks anyway for your bids. At four thousand four hundred pounds, I have bid at forty four hundred. Nice clean car here. Good mileage at four thousand four hundred pounds. Finish and done, are we in the sale room? You're absolutely sure. I'll take four five, Thomas, to the underbidder if they want to come back in. Four five, thank you. At four thousand five hundred, four six. Still going in Cornwall at four thousand six hundred pounds. Still provisional, submitting the bid. Up £4,600 bid now at 4600 Good mileage, 69,000 miles, there or thereabouts. Lots of invoices and receipts. Drives and presents very well. Low ownership as well at £4,600. With you in Cornwall at 4600 Finished and done in the sale room. It is provisional. Fair warning then at 4600 We will try at £4,600 provisionally selling. Two six eight zero, and I'm sure it's time yet again for Paul Cowell. And let's see what we've got for you this time, Paul. Oh wow, we've got the 1965 Vauxhall Vectra Super Touring. 
Thank you very much, Jules. Well, not quite a homologation car, this one, because they didn't need to homologate the car to get in touring car racing. This is more of a celebration car. So in the mid-90s, it was the super touring era, and it was a wonderful time to watch touring car racing because basically manufacturers had limitless budgets. They were building cars that looked like this and spending a million quid per car doing it. Wonderful thing. Do check it out online. Incredible era. But to celebrate Vauxhall's considerable success in the Touring Car Championship, they built these. These were the Vectra Super Touring. You could have them as a 2-litre or as a 2.5 V6. And this is the top of the range 2.5 V6. But the thing is, like many Vauxhalls, they went through that dip in value where they weren't worth a huge amount. And they're now very much coming up the other side. But this one somehow has managed to go through all of that as a cherished example. Absolutely beautiful, incredible history, loads of bills, loads of invoices. The paintwork is gorgeous. The interior is perfect. It's got the carbon fiber steering wheel. It's got its correct alloys. All of the parts on these cars were made by Ermshire, the German tuner, and they look fabulous. And if you want to just pull a little bit of touring car footage whilst you're bidding on the other screen, that'll make you bid it up. Very rare to find at all, just unheard of to find in this condition and get a hot Vauxhall before they get as expensive as hot Fords. That's my advice for today. Jules, what's it worth? Great advice there, Paul. I used to go watching the touring cars, 97, 98, 99, just telling the fellas up here on the rostrum. It's absolutely fantastic. Just bonkers. All the contact, rubbing. Really good race series. Uh, like Paul said, look it up on YouTube. Fantastic. Lot 165, the Vauxhall Vectra Super Touring. January next year, the MOT, showing around about 73,000 miles. What a great car this is going to be for its next owner. Uh, interest here starts me away at uh, 5,000. 5,2. Uh, 5,5. Five, bid at 5,500 pounds. Bid with me at 5,500. On the BTCC inspired Vauxhall Vectra Super Touring 24 valve at five and a half thousand pounds, bid at five and a half. Next bid's five eight if you want to come in. Five eight, thank you. I've got you, sir. Six thousand. Two hundred if you like, sir. Currently at six thousand pounds on my commission book. Six two, I'm out. At six thousand two hundred pounds, bid in our sale room now at six thousand two hundred. Against you at home, ladies and gentlemen. Did see you trying to get in on the internet, but I've taken the gentleman in the room at £6,200. Just a little bit too slow at home. At 6200 bid. At 6 2 I'll take 6 4 Thomas as the next bid, if that'll help them at home to come in. Currently at £6,200. Gentleman's bid in the room. On the Super Touring Vectra at 6200 And it is provisional. Submitting the bid. Make no mistake at all, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a shout if you want to come in. 6 4 Internet, 6-6, six, six. still in our sale room at £6,600, bid at £6,600. Against you in Derbyshire at £6,600. Never had one of these to sell before in the sale room. This is number 317 of only 500 manufactured at £6,600 bid. Gentlemen's bid in the sale room that's come to view the car with a view to buying it at £6,600. You're out at home, 6-8, 7000 Still with you, sir, in the sale room at £7,000. Bid now at £7,000. Against you on the World Wide Web. Make no mistake at all, at just £7,000. Getting very close to the reserve at £7,000. Finished and done then, are we? Absolutely sure. At £7,000. 7-2. 7-4. Thank you, sir. At £7,400. And we're on outright sale at £7,400. Bid. Selling the car at £7,400. Make no mistake at home, 7-6, seven, 7-8 seven, at £7,800 bid. Still in our sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at 7800 Fill it up to 8000 at home if you want to. 8 bid. I'll take one, sir, if that'll help you. 8-1, thank you. You've been with me right from the start at 8100 Least I can do for you at £8,100. Try and save you a bit of money at £8,100. Finish and done. 8-2, 8-3. At £8,300 bid, still in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen. You're out at home, make no mistake at all. At £8,300 bid, on the Super Touring Vectra, 8.4, At £8,500, you're still out at home. At £8,500 bid, against you in Derbyshire. No longer your bid in Derbyshire. Gentlemen's bid in the room at £8,500. On the Super Touring, 24-valve Vectra, BTCC inspired. At eight and a half thousand pounds. Fair warning in Derbyshire selling away in the sale room then. At eight thousand five hundred pounds, you're all finished and done at home. Sold away. You bought it, sir, at eight and a half thousand. One five five. Sold away at eight thousand five hundred. 
Another one that sold, ladies and gentlemen, lot 154, the MG Metro, sold away at £6,000 on the MG Metro. Lot 166, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is the 2003 Jaguar XK8, 4.2 litre convertible. No reserve whatsoever on this one. Although it shows 168,000 miles, this is a very, very bonny car. Automatic transmission, May next year, the MOT, just two previous owners. It says in your catalog, lovely condition. I'm sure if you viewed it, ladies and gentlemen, it belies the mileage. It really does not look like it has done anywhere near 168,000 miles at all. Um, you're on 800, Thomas. I'm on 900. And that's for nothing. 1,000, 1,100, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2,000. Still staying hundreds. 2,1, 2,2, 2,3, 2,4, 2,5, 2,6, 2,7, 2,8, 2,9, 2,10, 2,11, 2,12, 2,13, 2,14, 2,15, 2,16, 2,17, 2,18, 2,19, 2,20, 
manual transmission June this year, the MOT. Just two former keepers from new manual transmission in the current ownership since 1997. Has the period, pan still has the Panasonic radio in it, ladies and gentlemen. In the original specification, unmarked upholstery, 17 stamps in the service booklet as well, with the book pack and the leather wallet. There we are, the 968 Sport. Interest here starts you at eight and a half, nine and a half bid at 9,500 pounds, bid at nine and a half. On the 968 Sport, at nine and a half thousand pounds. Filler up to 10, surely where? 10,000, got you, sir, 10 and a half. 11,000 in the sale room at 11,000 pounds, bid now at 11,000. At just 11,000 pounds. On the 968 Sports at 11,000. 11.5 on the World Wide Web now. 12 bid back in the sale room at 12,000 pounds. Only bid at 12,000. You're out at home, I'm afraid to say, ladies and gentlemen. At 12,000 pounds bid. 968 Sport Manual at 12,000 pounds. 12 and a half at 12,500. Thanks for your bids anyway in the sale room. Shaking your head now at 12,500 pounds. I have in Cheshire at 12,500. Internet bidder. At twelve and a half thousand pounds. Next bid's thirteen. If you want to fill it up anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at twelve and a half thousand bid on the World Wide Web with Thomas at twelve and a half thousand pounds. Just shout if I'm missing you anywhere in the sale room. At twelve thousand five hundred pounds, it is provisionally being sold. Submitting the bid thirteen thousand. Thank you, Thomas. At thirteen bid. Click that down to a quarter if you don't mind. We'll try two fifty for the underbidder. Currently at £13,000 in Cornwall, at 13 bid. On the 968 Sport, at 13 bid, at £13,000. Is she worth another 250 back in Cheshire? Currently selling away provisionally in Cornwall at £13,000. Finished and done then, absolutely sure on the Porsche. 968 Sport, 250. Thank you. In Cheshire, there we go, at 13 and a quarter. Against you in Cornwall now, of course. Do the same favor. Next bid's 13,500. Currently at 13,250 pounds on the World Wide Web. Provisionally selling to our Cheshire bidder against you all in the sale room at 13,250. Finished and done. Provisional, Thomas. We will try at 13,250. 4963. And we're not a million miles away from that reserve, so keep your fingers crossed at home. We'll see what we can do for you. Lot 169, ladies and gentlemen, 169 is the 1921 Willys, Willys Overland model 91 Touring. Four-door, four-seater open tourer, four-cylinder flathead, this one, with three-speed manual transmission. Imported from Pennsylvania to the UK back in 2015. Believed to have had only two former keepers from brand new, ladies and gentlemen. Believed, of course. Let's have a look. Interest here on my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, starts your way at 32, 34, 36, at 3,600 pounds, bid at 3,600. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 3,600 pounds. It's against you all in the salary. Make no mistake at all, at 3,600 pounds. Next bid's 3,8 if you want to come in. At 3,600, maiden commission bids. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, it's against you all. Against you around the globe as well. At 3,600, 38, thank you. 3,9, I've got. At 3,900 pounds, bid with me at 3,900. On the Willis Overland, Model 91 Touring. Believed only two former keepers from new. Been in the UK since 2015. 4,000, I'm out now. Commissions are out. At 4,000 pounds, bid on the World Wide Web at just 4,000. It's against you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the sale room. Just shout. Raise your hand, raise your paddle. Make yourself known to either myself or Thomas at £4,000 bid now on the internet at £4,000 against my commission interest, provisionally selling the car, submitting the bid to the vendor for an answer, a yes or a no at £4,000, finished and done, bids with you in Northamptonshire. We will try for you at £4,000 bid. Six, six, oh, 664 has been in before, haven't they? That number's cropped up a couple of times. Thanks very much, Tom. We'll see what we can do for you. Getting a car transported together with a bit of luck. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 170. 170 is this fabulous, again, another one of my star cars in today's show, definitely is the 1985 Rover SD1 3500. And I'm going to say it right for you, Paul. 
Vanden Plas. Yeah, apparently it is. The debate will rage on, and please leave in the comments. Is it Vanden Plas? Is it Vanden Pla? Seemingly both people are right, but notwithstanding that, this is a phenomenal example of what we call the Birmingham Daytona. The Rover ST1 just beautifully specced. Whoever ordered this car from new did such a nice job. Best color in black, gray Connolly leather. It's got obviously the beautiful alloy wheels on a new set of Pirellis as well, the front spoiler. You see these come up for auction, don't you, Jules, for five, six, seven grand, and they're okay. They're sort of all right, and a little bit frilly, and they need a little bit of love. This one, and why we're all so excited, needs nothing. Just a bit of polish, a bit of petrol, and a nice garage to tuck it away in. It's gorgeous. The wood's perfect, the leather's perfect, the paint's perfect. It's got a really nice mileage, factory sunroof, and an awesome set of bills and history. So like we always say, if you do want one, and these are starting to make really decent money now, this is the best one we've seen. So Jules, what's it worth? Yeah, great car, this one. Like I said, in black. I've never heard that before, the Birmingham Daytona. I'm going to remember that one. <laughs> That's mint. <laughs> Here we go. Rover SD1, 3500, Vanden Plas. Lots of interest here. But before we get to that, March next year, the MOT, nearly a full year's ticket on it, 83,000 on the clock. Automatic electric sunroof. The list goes on and on and on. What a great car, as Paul said. Interest here at seven, eight, nine, ten thousand, ten and a half, eleven bid. At eleven thousand pounds, bid with me at eleven thousand. On the rover, SD1, 3500, Vanden Plas. It's really difficult to say that, by the way. <laughs> eleven and a half, twelve thousand. Just want to say Vanden Pla. I've said it all my life. At 12,000, 12 and a half, 12,750. Still with me at 12,750 pounds, but at 12,750. 13, if you like, at home at 12,713,000. I'm out now at 13 bid on the mezzanine. Thank you. At 13,000 pounds, absolute cracker, this one. At 13,000 pounds bid, 13 and a quarter. Back on the internet at 13,250. At 13,250 pounds bid, at 13,250. And we're on outright sale at 13,250 bid. In Dorset, currently selling to Dorset at 13,250 pounds. Like Paul said, if you want one, this is it. Great color combination, great spec. And a half at 13 and a half thousand pounds bid at 13 and a half thousand. 13,750. Still going at 13,750 pounds. Back in Dorset at 13,750. Fill it up to 14,000 if you like. Currently at 13,750 pounds. Original radio cassette player. One of only 18 EFI examples on UK roads. New power steering pump, air conditioning top up, ignition coil, full service recently to the sum of 1,800 pounds. Parts invoices going back to 1993, currently at 13,750. Absolutely sure. Fair warning to the underbidders. We will not get one in this kind of condition for a long time, I'm sure, at 14,000. Back in Somerset at 14,000. 14,250. Dorset bidder again at 14 and a quarter bid at 14,250 pounds. Great car, ladies and gentlemen, at 14,250. Absolutely sure. Fair warning in Somerset. Leaving it behind. It's slipping through your fingers, I'm afraid to say, and we're selling away. 14 and a half bid. Lincolnshire, fresh bidder. Fresh bidder, back in Dorset at 14,750. 15,000, back in Lincolnshire at 15,000 pounds bid now at 15,000 and a quarter. 15 and a half in Lincolnshire. That's how to make an entrance, Thomas, isn't it? At Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire bidder now at 15 and a half, 15,750. 15,750, 16,000, back in Lincolnshire, 16 and a quarter. Slugging it out now, 16 and a half. And rightly so. Such a good example, this one. You'd be very, very hard stretched to find a better one, I'm sure. At £16,500 in Lincolnshire. £16,750 back in Dorset. At £16,750, £17,000. Back to our Lincolnshire bidder now at £17,000. Against you all still, ladies and gentlemen, in the sale room. Make no mistake at all. If you want to jump in, don't be shy. Just give us a shout. At seventeen and a quarter, back in Dorset. 17 and a half, Lincolnshire bidder again at 17,500 bid. On the EFI, Vanden Plas or Vanden Pla, whichever you prefer, you decide in Lincolnshire and Dorset what you're going to call her. Currently at 17 and a half thousand pounds. Absolutely sure. 
finishing down in Dorset, are we? Great car. I know you're going to regret it when you don't buy it. That applies to both of you, but currently selling to Lincolnshire at £17,500. Finishing done. Fair warning from your auctioneer. One last time, selling away on this great car at 17500 Sold away in Lincolnshire at 17500 Commiserations in Dorset. 7608. I'd love to say we'll have another one in the sale room sometime soon but I'm afraid we won't. Not in that kind of condition. Lot 171, 171, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogs is the 1973 Ford Escort 1300 XL. Restoration project, of course, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on the big screen behind me. No reserve, though, so that should tempt you. Um, it is complete. Uh, it's not just the shell. The engine is in there as well. Our vendor does say the engine has been running, but it does need recommissioning. It does have the front grille, and we do have the glass, but we do not have the interior. He seems to have lost it. Miss Ladies, how could you do that for the entire interior? But there we go. No interior with her, I'm afraid to say. Shell has been refurbished, though. It's been welded and painted as well, as you can see. No reserve. Nothing on my commission book. Where do you want to be on this one? On the Escort Shell with the engine. And the glass. Start me away at £500, ladies and gentlemen. Start me at 500 Must be worth that, surely. Five bid. At £500, only bid at 500 600 What? 700 800 900 1000 Stain hundreds there, Thomas, if you don't mind. At £1,000, only bid at 1000 11 1200 13 1400 15 1600 <laughs> I'd love to be in £100 increments. It's £1,600, bid at £1,600. £1,700. I just think we'll get more out of her if we do. It's £1,700, bid at £1,700. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the sale room. It's £1,700, bid now at £1,700. On the Ford Escort, 1300 XL. No interior, but the engine's there. We have the glass with her as well. The front grille's with her as well. At £1,700, bid in Nottinghamshire there. At 17 bid. Coming in again, if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely Sure, fair warning, one last time on the Escort, 1300 XL, 1800. North Yorkshire at 1800 pounds, bid at 1800. Fair warning to the underbidder, make no mistake at all, selling away then. No reserve, remember, at 1800 pounds. Try another 50. Oh, 1900, try another 50. Ireland, fresh bidder from nowhere. Oh, were they there at the start? At 1900 At 1900 pounds bid. Finished and done. On the Escort Restoration Project at 1900 pounds. Selling away to Ireland. Sold away at 1900 pounds. 7739. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 172 is the 1961 Morris Mini Van. There we are. December this year, the MOT with the original Buff logbook. Early example, this one has a smooth roof, just from the second year of production. Has the floor start on her as well, subject to a recent restoration. Looks very, very bonny indeed, doesn't she, going around the, uh, around the roads of Runcorn there. Offered with an array of spare parts as well. Interest here starts you at eight and a half, nine bid, at 9,000 pounds, bid with me at 9,000 on the minivan at just £9,000 bid. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at 9000 nine and a half, ten 10 bid. At £10,000 bid now at 10000 At 10 bid. On my commission book again, ladies and gentlemen, at just £10,000. On the minivan. Smooth roof. At 10000 bid. It's against you all in the room at 10000 Thought you were bidding there, sir, for a moment. You're just waving. Waving at your friends up on the mezzanine. At £10,000 bid at 10000 Hello, everybody, at £10,000. Coming in again, if you like, on the minivan at just £10,000. Next bid's 500 Finish and done. Absolutely sure. Leaving it behind then at £10,000. It is provisional at £10,000 only. Finish and done. Provisional at £10,000. That's 1001. Provisional at 10000 Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot... 173. 173 is the Jaguar 
XK 4.2 liter coupe, automatic, um, MOT till next April, full year's ticket on it, ladies and gentlemen, 86,000 miles on the clock, there or thereabouts, drives and presents very well indeed. Interest here on the Jaguar starts you at 5.2, 5.5, Bid at five and a half thousand pounds. Bid with me at five and a half thousand on the Jaguar, ladies and gentlemen. XK 4.2 coupe at five and a half thousand pounds. Against you all in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at five and a half thousand pounds. Five, eight, six thousand. Still with me at six thousand pounds bid. Six, two is your bid, sir. I'm out at six thousand two hundred pounds bid now in the sale room. Commissions are out. Six, four, six, five, sir. Was that six, five? with the gentleman in the sale room at 6.5. Against your telephone, Carlos. Against your telephone, George, as well. 6.6, six, 6.7. Six, six, Straight back at you at 6,700 bid. 6.8, six, 6.9, sir, if you like. 6.9, fill it up to 7,000, Carlos, for your bidder. 7 bid, 7.1. At 7,100 pounds, bid at 7-1. Still with the gentleman in the sale room, 7-2, telephone. Seven three. Again, shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in. I'm just concentrating on the gentleman in the telephone. 7-4. Nope, we're on outright sale at 7,400 pounds on the telephone. On the Jaguar XK 4.2 Coupe, selling away, outright sell, make no mistake at all, on the telephone with Carlos, sold at 7,400 pounds. 22014. 2014. Sold away, thanks Carlos, at 7,400. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 174. 174 is the Volkswagen Type 2 camper van conversion. This one um, showing uh, a little over 72,000 miles. March next year, the MOT, so nearly a full year's test. In long-term current ownership, was subject to a restoration back in 2008 and 2009. There's over 16,000 pounds worth of bills on file for that restoration at that moment in time. There we are, type two camper. Interest here with me, starts your way at 4,005, 48, five bid at 5,000 pounds. Bid with me at 5,000. On the type two camper van at 5,000 pounds. Next bid's five two if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Currently at 5,000. Thought Phil was bidding there as well. Lot five, five, I know Phil. Yeah, it's just when, when you see somebody's arm in the air like that, you just automatically think it's a bid at 5,000 pounds. At 5,000 pounds, only bid at five. You're just corralling him, bringing him over. At 5,000 pounds bid. On my commission book, 5-2, got you, thanks, sir. 5-4, uh, at 5,400 pounds, bid with me at 5,400. Still on my commission book at 5,400 pounds. I'll take it, 5-5, five, 5-6. Five, five, Still with me at 5,600 pounds, bid at 5,600. Still on commission at 5,600 pounds. On the camper van. Absolutely sure everywhere else at 5,600 pounds. Very, very provisional there, ladies and gentlemen, at 5,600. Nobody on the internet for this one. Nearly a full year's ticket on it at 5,700 bid. Sorry, 5,6, beg your pardon, at 5,600 pounds bid with me. Finished and done against you all, ladies and gentlemen, all very quiet on this one at 5,600 pounds. Absolutely sure, finished and done. Provisional then at 5,600 pounds, 4,065. Provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 175. It's the 2004 Jaguar XKR 400 convertible, and it's over to Paul Cowland again. Thank you, Jules. I do think these are very, very special. If you don't know, everyone knows the XK. Everyone knows the XK drop head. Very pretty, nice cruiser. The XKR 400 is not that. This is not a cruiser. This is a genuine supercar. You're talking about a car that will do 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds, and it is limited to 155 miles an hour. They didn't make many of these. Truly limited edition. It was on very sought-after dealer allocation, and this is by far the best colorway, the platinum 
with the black charcoal interior. And they've got these amazing 20 inch Montreal wheels, which I think are the best XK wheel. This one comes from an owner's club gentleman who really looks after the car. As you'd imagine, the service history is impeccable. But at the moment, these cars are just starting their ascendancy. So you can still get them for really quite sensible amounts of money. So if you want to go very fast, look very stylish, get what I think will be an appreciating classic and be quicker than pretty much most Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, this is a quick, quick car. It really is. So Jules, what's it worth? Well, Paul, I've got an initial commission bid of £5,000 on this 2004 Jaguar XKR 400 convertible. So £5,000 bid with me at 5000 April next year, full year's ticket, 5254 Five six five eight six thousand six two. Can't get you in on the inset. Still with me at six two six four six five six six. If you like, sir. Six six. Commissions are out at six thousand six hundred pounds bid. Six seven. Fresh bidder. Six eight six nine seven thousand. No, at seven thousand pounds only. Bid at seven thousand. Thanks for your bids anyway, sir. At seven I have. At seven thousand pounds bid in our sale room then at seven thousand pounds. 7-1, internet, 7-2, back in our sale room at £7,200 bid. Low ownership car with the private plate, J4, KKR, great history file on us, 7-3, 7-4, at £7,400 bid at 7400 7 7 7-5, limited edition, XKR 400, 7-7 seven seven was that, 7-8 if you like, so bid, 7800 at 7.8 bid, 7.9, I'm on outright sale. Not even another 50. Go on then, 7.950, I knew you would. At 7,950 pounds, 8,000. <laughs> switch him off, we've got to switch him off, Thomas. You've got to unplug this, the gentleman says. At 8,000 pounds I have, another 50 if you like, 50 bid, at 8,050. Why not, while the wife isn't there to stop you? At 8,100. Got to be careful what you say, though, haven't you? 8 1. Thanks for your bids anyway. At 8,100. Internet bidder. At 8,100 pounds. In Cumbria. Finished and done in the sale room. Thanks very much indeed for all your bids. At 8,100 pounds. Selling away on the internet at 8,100. Sold yours, Thomas, at 8,100. 7503. 7503. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 176 in your catalogue. That's the year 2000 BMW Z3 2.8 injection. No reserve. So get ready for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Showing 76,000 miles, manual transmission. June uh, this year, the MOT in the current ownership since 2011. Has the red leather interior. Fully operational electric roof as well. Driven some 40 miles to the sale room. Loads of commission interest here. I'm going to defer to the internet, just to be fair. Been pinging away. £1,000, says Thomas. Thomas says £1,000. I say, we, well, internet says 1200 1400 I'll come in in a moment with my commission once, once you've sorted yourself out. At £1,400, bid at £1,400. I've got £1,600, <laughs> 1800 2000 at two thousand pounds, bid with me at two thousand. Two two. I've got in the sale room. Two four. Two six. Two seven. No, at two thousand seven hundred pounds, bid at two seven. Coming in again, if you like, at two thousand seven hundred pounds. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at two thousand seven hundred. Nobody wants for another hundred pounds bid. Two eight. I've got to be careful now, sir. Two nine. I'll take two nine fifty. 2950, 3000. Sorry, I got on the wrong leg with me. I got on the wrong leg. I've got so many. There was just so many on my book. I just glanced at it. I thought, I'm on the wrong leg here. 3000, 3 1, thank you. Commissions are out now. They're all out. So 3000, 3 1, bid in the room at 3100 pounds bid at 3100. Against you on the internet, 3 2 internet. No, nope, thanks for your bids anyway. So sorry, you've missed out on another one. Like I said to the other gentleman earlier, you're running out of cars as the sale goes on. 3-3 three, three, at £3,300 bid. 3-4, three, 3-5 three, was that. At 3-5 in County Down. 3-6 in Derbyshire. At £3,600 bid at 3600 
against you in County Down, make no mistake, at £3,600 bid. Against you all in the sale room as well at £3,600, three seven. Back in County Down, I'm going to have to do some of them, aren't I? At £3,700, at £3,800 bid. Don't want to get sold off by Damien again. Three nine at three thousand nine hundred pounds. Four thousand <laughs> at four thousand pounds. Only bit at four thousand. Nobody else's auction is like this, is it? You know, you go everywhere else, you don't get this at four thousand pound. Bit at four thousand. Oh dear me! At four thousand, finishing done in Derbyshire against you in County Down. Make no mistake whatsoever. I'm selling away at four thousand pounds on the Z3 2.8 injection four one. In Lancashire now. Fresh bidder, I think that is, isn't it? That one? At £4,100, bid at 4100 Finish and done. Absolutely sure. Fair warning. One last time from your auctioneer. I'm selling away at 4100 Sold away at 4100 Three, six, two, five. Sold away. Right, we'll catch up on some of these. Um, uh, oops, sorry. We'll catch up on some of these... <laughs> Updates for you. Lot 164, there's another one. We won't do them all at once. We'll keep keep some for a little bit later, you know. Lot 164, Jaguar XKR. Sold away, ladies and gentlemen, for £5,500. I'll do one more. We'll do, oh, this one. Go on. Lot 157, the REO Model T6. Sold away at £3,800. Save those for a little bit later on. Lot 177. 177 is the 1989 Ford Escort RS Turbo. Oh, this is the left-hand drive. Speedos in kilometres. Very low mileage. 23,296 kilometres, it says in here. Now, that's about 12, 30, about 14,000 miles from new, there or thereabouts. Uh, June this year, the MOT, there was no advisories on it, though. Uh, offered in completely original specification, original stamped, factory stamped front wings on her as well. Imported from Italy in 2021. Uncracked dashboard. Unsagging seats. Uncut parcel shelf. If only we could say that, George, about ourselves, eh? Dear me, we, we, we're cracked, sagging, and definitely cut. Well, half cut anyway. Very smart and tidy example there of the RS Turbo. Interest here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've got some on the internet as well. We've got £10,000 on the internet. I've got eleven At £11,000, bid with me at 11000 On the RS Turbo, left hand right, 12000 12 and a half. 13, I'm out, sir. At 13000 it's your bid. Against my commission interest now at £13,000, bid at 13000 Great car here, low mileage, factory stamp wings as well at £13,000, bidding our sale room at just £13,000. Take two fifty dollars anywhere else if that'll tempt anybody else at £13,000, only bid at £13,000. Very, very little money. Can you imagine if this was right hand drive? We double this at £13,000, bid at £13,000. In our sale room, gentlemen's bid, seated bidder there at £13,000 against you on the internet, against you everywhere else, make no mistake, submitting the bid, it is provisional then at £13,000 against you everywhere else, provisional, so we will try for you at £13,000, I've forgotten your number from earlier on, I do apologise, 124, thank you, 124, £13,000 provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 178. 178 is the 1964 Jaguar S-Type 3.4 litre. Comes to us from 40 years previous ownership, believe it or not. Automatic transmission. Two former recorded keepers. It's a UK home market right-hand drive example from brand new. Offered in the original specification. Loads of invoices with her as well. Let's have a look on the S-Type. Interest here starts me away at uh, 8, 9, 10 bid. At £10,000, bid with me at £10,000. £11,500. Ooh, that's a shame. At £11,500, bid at eleven five. At £11,500, bid on my commission book. Next bid's 12000 if you want to come in. Currently at £11,500 against the lady. At eleven and a half thousand pounds, you're right, sir. Twelve bid at twelve thousand pounds. Bid at twelve thousand, and I'm out now at just twelve thousand pounds. Bid in our sale room, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, bid at twelve thousand pounds. Finish and done. Then are you absolutely sure? I will submit the bid from forty years previous ownership. 
at £12,000. Finished and done then with the lady in the sale room at £12,000. We will try for you. 146, 146, £12,000 provisional. Are you hanging on till the end? I'll say hello to you at the end. Yeah, haven't seen you for a while. Um, next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 179, 179. Subaru Impreza WRX STI Type UK, this one. Just one former keeper. There's 11 main dealer stamps there in the service booklet. Manual transmission on this one. No advisory MOT into March next year. Nearly a full year's ticket. No advisories, remember. With the book pack and wallet, driven to our sale room as well. Nice car here. Interest here starts you at, let's have a look, 6,6265. At £6,500 bid with me at £6,500. A lot of motor car here. WRX STI Type UK at £6,500 bid. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, against you all in the sale room and against you around the globe on the World Wide Web. Just give me a shout if you want to come in or get clicking away at home. Thomas will give me a shout at £6,500. Against you all in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely sure. Six, seven fifty, seven thousand. I'll take two fifty again, sir, if you like. Two fifty. Commissions are out at seven thousand two hundred and fifty bid. Gentleman's bid in the sale room, right at the very front there, at seven thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. Against you on the internet, against you everywhere else as well. It is provisional. Submitting the bid. Make no mistake at all, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen how those provisionals have converted into outright sales. Got another couple here that I'm going to tell you about as well. So it's £7,250 finished and done. We will try for you, sir, at £7,250. 573, thank you. 573, 7250 provisionally sold. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogue is lot 180. 180. And I'm glad, Paul, I'm really glad I'm going to come over to you on this one because I really don't know exactly what to say about this 2017 Spire Sports Cars GTF, apart from it looks completely bonkers. Jules, it is completely bonkers. I think that's a pretty fair summation. What a nice car this is. So this is a factory-built car and that was built for a gentleman called Richard Webb. Now, this car was running the championship. There's good news and there's bad news here. If you're thinking about buying this car, the good news is this car has got many lap records, many championship wins, many outright wins. That's also the bad news. So if you buy this car and try and race, the pressure of owning a car that's won quite as much as this is very real because we know this car is top step podium material. Amazing spec with a Jixxer engine in, very long spec sheet. I know if you're looking to bid on this car, you'll have read that already. But this could be a real bargain. So factory built car with all those lap records, all those outright wins. So if you are thinking of either doing sprints, hill climbs, track days, or even club racing, the car is ready. It even comes with a trailer, I understand as well. Do take around to time to read the spec sheet. Then also, if you've got time before you bid, have a look at what a Radical would cost to build to the same spec. And this will be a fraction of that. And as we've already said, a winning car, a championship winning car, an outright winning car, a lap record holding car. So if you want a bit of cheap fun, even if you just use it for a track day, this will be it. So Jules, what's it worth? Well, we'll find out in a moment. But that was a good point about how much a Radical would cost. I hadn't thought about that. This is going to look quite handy. This 2017 Spire Sports Cars GTF, as Paul said, does come with the trailer for it as well and a spares package with the car. Has a Suzuki GSXR 1000 engine in it, a K5 engine. That's only run for one season and three test days with a total of 25 hours on the engine. There we are. Spire Sports Cars. I do have a couple of commission bids here. I'm in at 6568 at 6,800 pounds. Bid with me at 6,800 at 6,800 pounds. Like Paul said, track days, hill climbs, sprints. This is the vehicle for it for sure. Absolutely bonkers. At 6,800 pounds, bid at 68. Fill it up to 7,000 if anybody's come for in the sale room. Currently at 6,800 pounds. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at £6,800. Fill it up to seven, surely where? On the Spire Sports Cars, GTF with the trailer and the spares package. Can't believe there's nobody for on the World Wide Web at £6,800. Lots of effort put into this car. Very, very competitive. Ten class wins, fourth overall in the RGB Championship. Multiple lap records. Multiple lap records. 
Can't believe there's nobody for it on the inside. At £6,800, finished and done. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at just £6,800 with me. That one is not sold, I'm afraid. No surprise there, realistically. It's worth more than that. If you do have a genuine interest at home or a genuine interest here in the sale room, please have a word with our provisional bids team. They'll let you know where you want to be. But that one is not sold at £6,800. Um, just jot that down. On to our next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in our catalogue, it's lot 181, 181, I will do one of those in a moment, <laughs> lot 181, Rover Mini Sidewalk, <laughs> the Rover Mini Sidewalk, um, let's have a look, no reserve on this one whatsoever, showing a little over 83,000 recorded miles, July this year, the MOT has this absolutely fabulous, if you viewed this, the interior is absolutely superb on this one. Blue tartan interior, not seen one of these sidewalks before. The interior is absolutely fantastic. Um, and the door cards on there as well, of course, on mini light style wheels. They're not genuine mini lights, they're mini light uh, style, they're copies. Uh, vendor does say a new rear subframe has been fitted to it and uh, a recent brake overhaul as well. There we are. No reserve whatsoever. I really don't want to start at my ridiculously low commission but I'm going to have to, there's no reserve. 750 pound I have bid. Can you believe that? It's 750, 800 in Nottinghamshire. And I've got no more commissions. At 800 and 50, 900 and 50, 1,000. No, <laughs> 1,000 pounds. Have a word with a Paul. At 1,000 pounds, only bid at 1,000. 1,100, fresh bidder. At 1,100 pounds, bid at 1,100. Great interior on this, 1,200, 1,300. At 1,300 pounds, bid at 1,400, 1,500. I've got in the room at 1,500. Just to be fair, 1,600, 1,700. You're up against three bidders, sir. At 1,700 pounds, bid at 1,700. Oh, they've all calmed down at the same time. At 1,700 bid. No, we're all right. It's 1,700 pounds, bid at 1,700. At £1,700. In the room, ladies and gentlemen, all three of them stopped at the same moment. That's absolutely bizarre. Never seen that before. At £1,700. I know, I know, I know. I want another £50 for that, and I'll put it down straight away. At £1,700, finished and done. Selling away in the room. Oh, £1,750. Oh, don't believe it. I owe you a drink. £1,775. Do we have that on there? £1,775. £1,800. 25. <laughs> it's 1825. Finished and done. Absolutely sure. On the table, selling away at eight. Oh my goodness. What are you doing at home? 1850. 75 at 1875. Against you at home. Against you in the room. Selling away. Gentlemen on the table at 1875. Sold. There you go, sir. You got it eventually. <laughs> One, two, four. One, two, four. I've forgotten what, how much did it sell for? 1775. There we go. 1875. 1875. And a bit of loose change. Sold away. Sold away in the room. There we go. Lot 182. 182. Here's another chance for you. Oh, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this update, or else I can see Damien's getting more and more agitated. Lot 169. The Willis Overland Model 91. Sold away at £4,000. Lot 163 as well. We've had virtually a clean sweep on all these 1920s American cars. The Hupmobile Series R11 also sold away at £3,400. Lot 182, the 1975 BMW 1502. Rare motor this one, ladies and gentlemen. It is a project car, of course. Left-hand drive. I believe it came from Poland. I haven't jotted that down. I think it was from Poland, this one. Appears to be mostly complete as well. There we are. Nothing on my book, I'm afraid, to say on this one. So you're going to have to tell me who's come for this one. Hands in the air if you've come for it, first of all. How much would you like to start me off, sir? 2,000, says the gentleman in the room. At 2,000 pounds, bid at 2,000. At just 2,000 pounds. Nothing on my book, like I said, at 2,000. 25. 3,000. At 3,000 pounds, at... <laughs> 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one says, just rewind that one to 3-2. At £3,100, bid at 3-1. At 
at 3-1, 3-2, 3-3. Thank you, sir. 3,300 pounds bid at 3 3, 3 4, 3 5. Keep your fingers crossed. Here's your bid at 3 5. Don't worry, I won't take you twice. We don't play that game here at all. At 3,500, with the gentleman right at the front, against you on the internet, make no mistake at all, at 3,500 pounds only bid. 3 6, fresh bidder. 3 7, 3 8, 3 9. It's against you, sir, I'm afraid. 3 9, still right at the very front at 3,900 on the BMW. At 3,900 pounds, fill it up to 4,000 if anybody else has come for it. Currently at 3,900 pounds. Fair warning, make no mistake at all, I'm submitting the bid. It is provisional on the BMW 1502 at 3,900 pounds. Gentlemen's bid, 4,100. Still with the gentleman at the front at 4,100. Please bid quickly at home, can't keep it open forever. Very little money here, I feel, at 4,100 pounds. Against you at home, it's provisional. We will try for you, sir. 4156. Five, five, six, five, four thousand, one hundred. Provisional. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. We'll see what we can do. Lot one eight three. One eight three is the nineteen sixty eight Bentley, the T one, offered in original specification, ladies and gentlemen. The Bentley showing round about sixty seven thousand miles. Chromework presents very well indeed on this one. On the correct Avon tires. Always nice to see that people are putting the correct Avon tires on. With the rear picnic tables. Has had a thousand pounds spent on it just last year. Brake calipers, uh, fuel pump as well, few other bits and bobs. Lots of invoices and MOT, old MOT certificates as well. There we are. Interest here starts you at six eight seven thousand seven two bid at seven thousand two hundred pounds bid at seven thousand two hundred on the Bentley, ladies and gentlemen, the T one at seven thousand two hundred pounds bid. Next bid seven and a half if you want to come in. Currently at seven thousand two hundred bid with me, ladies and gentlemen, on commission at 7,200 pounds. You're all out everywhere else. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody on the internet for this one, Thomas. Not even having a hover. Well, that's, that's very rude of them, isn't it, at home? At 7,200 pounds. On commission then, on the Bentley T1, 7.3, I will take it. Thank you, my commissions are out. At 7,300 pounds bid. In the sale room, ladies and gentlemen. Finished and done then. It is provisional, submitting the bid at £7,300. We will try at 73146. 146, 7,300. Provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 184. It's the 1997. This is a bit interesting, isn't it? Rover Mini Cooper 1.3 injection has been converted to race and hill climb specification, but remains road legal. So you can buy this one. Jump in it, drive it home down the motorway. Scare everybody to death. Showing round about 778, probably scare your passenger to death, that's for sure. Showing uh, round about 78,000 miles. March, next year, the MOT has had a lot of money spent on her, of course, to get her into this kind of condition. Gr huge spec. Drives and presents very well, the boys tell me here. Interest here starts me away at just 4,000 pounds. Can you believe it? 4245. Four eight five thousand two hundred. I'm out at five thousand two hundred pounds. Bid at fifty two hundred. Gentlemen's bid five four five six. Currently at five thousand six hundred. Five eight six thousand. It's further back, sir. At six thousand pounds, only bid at six thousand. You're out on the table. I'm afraid to say it. Six thousand bid at six thousand pounds, only bid. Hill climb mini here at six thousand pounds. 6-2, thank you, sir. Fresh bidder. 6-4, six, 6-6. Six, six. I'll take 6-7, six, sir. 6-7, six, do you the same favor. 6-8, six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight bid. 6-9, 7,000, we're on sale. 7-1. Seven, 7-2, one. Seven, 7-3. Seven, 7-4. Having a think about it, you might have won this one at 7,400 pounds I have in the seated area. 7.5, 7, 7.6, 7, 7.7, 7, 7.8, 7, 7.9. 7, 7, Currently at 7,900 pounds bid. Standing bidder on my left at 7,900. 8,000, 8.1. Eight two, if you like. Eight two, 
8,300. No, 8,300. I thought you weren't going to stop. At 8,300 pounds, I'll take 50 if that'll help. At 8,300 pounds. 8,350 if you like. 8,350, 8,4. Nope, thanks for your bits anyway. At 8,400 pounds. Sorry you didn't get this one. At 8,400 on the Hill Climb Mini, selling away. At £8,400, standing bidder, make no mistake, in the seated area, 8400 Sold, 568. Thanks very much indeed. 568, 8400 Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 185, which is the 1999 Daihatsu 4-track Fieldman. And I haven't seen one of these forever. What about you, Paul? You know what, Jules? I've not seen one of these for ages either, and I definitely haven't seen one in this condition for a long, long time. Because I've worked with International Motors for a long time, so that's Subaru, Isuzu, Daihatsu. I do remember these. I'm old enough to remember these when they were new. And you kind of say, aren't they a cool-looking thing? They're the short wheelbase. They've got the 2.8 turbo diesel. The most important thing is this spec has got the chunky arches, so they sit really, really well. And this one is much cleaner and tidier than a commercial vehicle has a right to be because it's had some lovely restoration. It's had some nice fresh paint, lovely silvering of the bumpers. The interior is in lovely condition. And underneath, let's make Phil get down on his knees. And go on, Phil, look underneath at the back. Go on. It is as nice underneath with the under seal as it is on top. So what could you do with this? Well, loads, you could put it back to work and it would be a very good commercial vehicle. It's got the towing pack on. So if you want to tow a race car or even a caravan, it would do that very well indeed, being the 2.8. Or just sign write it and have it for your business. It's absolutely epic. You won't find another one. You won't find another one this nice. And it's the most usable commercial vehicle we've got for sale today. So, Jules, what's it worth? Well, do you know, I genuinely have no idea on this one at all. I didn't really have a price point in mind. So, we'll see what happens. 1999 Daihatsu 4-track Fieldman, 2.8 TDL. It is a UK-supplied example. MOT till December. Drives and presents very well indeed. Has the towing equipment on her as well. That's a little bit of a bonus. Very clean interior. Interest here starts your way at just £3,000. Just £3,000 bid with me at 3000 On the Daihatsu 4-track Fieldman. Very unusual vehicle. At £3,000, only bid at 3000 At 3 bid. Next bid's 3 2 if you like anywhere else. At just 3000 3 2 3 4 Three six, three eight four if you like, sir. Or I'll take three nine. Three nine commissions are out at three thousand nine hundred bid in the room, at thirty nine hundred pounds bid at three nine. It is provisional. Submitting the bid, make no mistake whatsoever at three thousand nine hundred pounds. Bid in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at three thousand nine hundred against my commission interest at just thirty nine hundred pounds. Provisionally selling. You've seen how those provisional bids have come into. Outright sales all the way through the sale at £3,900 finished and done then. We will try for you, sir, at 3 9 Very rare car there. 59, number 59, 3,900 provisional. We'll get the boys on that one as soon as we possibly can for you. Don't worry. Lot 186, ladies and gentlemen, 186 in the sale. It's the 1968 Riley Elf Mark III. Restoration project, <laughs> restoration project, ladies and gentlemen. Just three former keepers. Thanks for that. Gee whiz. <laughs> three former keepers. Does have the uh, original interior, as you can see as the camera goes in there. The uh, interior is in there. Uh, the dashboard isn't in the video, but we do have the dash. It is with the car. Don't think it doesn't come with it. The dashboard is with it. And the chrome trim as well. We do have that. So it appears to be largely complete. I'm sure you've viewed her. Will require, obviously, a full restoration. No reserve whatsoever. And I really don't want to take what's on the internet. Anybody got £400 for her? For the Riley Elf? Anybody got 400 Complete restoration projects. All oh, right, okay. I've got a hundred pounds bid on the internet at one hundred pounds bid at one hundred, two hundred. Thank goodness for that. Three hundred, even better. Four hundred. There you go. That's what I thought we'd get for it. Four hundred pounds bid at four hundred. Five bid at five hundred pounds only bid at five hundred. On the Riley Elf at five hundred pounds. I'll take fifty, Thomas. 
thank you. At £500, only bid at £500. Currently in Lancashire at £500. Like I said, the dashboard is there. Most of the interior appears to be there. In not bad condition. We do have the chrome trim as well. At £500, bid at £500. On the World Wide Web, ladies and gentlemen, at just £500. I'll take £50 from any of you in the sale room. If you have a genuine interest in her or anywhere else around the globe or I'm selling away, make no mistake at all, at £500 on the Riley Elf Restoration Projects. Sold away at £500 to the internet. 689, sold away. Lot 187, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1982 Porsche 928S. Low ownership vehicle, this one, fully restored. We have sold this car before, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute cracker. Don't... I mean, it's, it has 220,000 recorded miles, but this has been absolutely fully restored. Nothing has been left unturned, un untouched on this car at all. It's absolutely fantastic condition. Great service history on her as well. Was well used, well loved, has been very well restored as well. Not got the sunroof, quite a rare um, delete option on that one. Original specification throughout as well. Really nicely put together. Interest here starts you at 13, 14 bid. At 14,000 pounds, bid with me at 14,000, 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, 500, 18,000. Commissions are out at 18 bid. At 18,000 pounds, bid in the room at 18,000. Against you on the internet. Did see you trying to come in earlier, but at 18,000 pounds, I have. 18,500 telephone. Thanks anyway for your bids. Much appreciated. 18,500 pounds. With George now on the telephone at 18,500. On the Porsche 928S at 18,500 pounds. And I'm on outright sale at 18,500 pounds. Thanks very much for that, Dave. At 18,500 pounds. On the telephone. 750 if you like anywhere else. Selling away. On the Porsche 928S with George on the telephone then at 18,500 pounds. Absolutely sure everywhere else. Sold at eighteen and a half thousand pounds. Two zero zero six sold away. Thanks, George, on the telephone. Lot one eight eight one eight eight, ladies and gentlemen, is a nineteen fifty seven Citroen HY van. Has had quite a bit of work carried out to her back in twenty sixteen. It's basically a blank canvas, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? You can do what you want with the interior, convert it into a mobile coffee vending machine, uh, a food truck, um, fruit and veg, I guess, if you want to do that. Does run and drive, will require some recommissioning, clearly. Nothing on my book on this one, I'm afraid to say. So again, you're going to have to tell me, ladies and gentlemen, where do you want to be with the Citroen HY van? Start me away. Where do you want to be? Start me away at 4,000 on the Citroen van. Must be worth that, surely. You have to buy them in France, import them, bring them in. This one's been painted. Start me away at 4,000. Can't start to be low that, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking at the vendor's reserve. Start me away at 4,000 pounds on the Citroen van. But if there's nobody for her, we'll have to pass her, I'm afraid to say. I, don't, I really don't think they'll... T I'll start it, sir, at 3,000. I'll be absolutely gobsmacked. But at 3,000 pounds, only bit at 3,000. In our sale room then at £3,000. Absolutely sure everywhere else at £3,000 only. Next bid's 3 2 Can't believe there's nobody else for it. 3 2 thank you. Telephone now at £3,200. 3 4 3 6 3 8 They cost at least this, I'm sure you know, they cost at least this in France at 3 8 4,000, 42, 43 if you like, Carlos. Currently at 42, gentleman's bid at 42 against telephone, 43. Do the same favor, sir. 44, against you on the telephone again at 4,400 bid. At 4,400, it looks absolutely for nothing to me. At 4,400 pounds, bid at 4,4, 4,5, 4,6, 4,7, 4,8, 4,9, 4,10.
Again, just shout, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody else wants to come in. Currently at 4-6 in the sale room. Against telephone, 4-7. Telephone bidder at 4-7. What do you reckon, gentlemen? Worth another bid? Currently at 4-7. Leaving it behind? At 4 thousand. Thanks anyway for your bids. And for getting me started, very much appreciated. Thank you. At £4,700. If only everybody was like that, we'd get through the cars really quickly. You know what I mean? At 4700 Finish and done. Provisionally on the telephone with Carlos. We will try Carlos at 4700 2015. Thank you on the telephone. We'll see what we can do. You never know. Worth a try, isn't it, Thomas? Lot one, always worth a try. Lot 189, 189, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, 1966 Sunbeam Alpine. That one, ladies and gentlemen, is already sold prior to the sale, £9,000 plus, obviously, all the commission as well. So if you came for that, apologies, that only sold right at the death last night when I was here, when we locked up about half past five or something like that. That one actually sold, the deal was done. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogue, we move on, make no mistake at all, to lot 190. 190 is the 2009 Nissan 350Z GT, and it's not Paul Cowlin. This time, it's going to be Jim on the recorded video wall. Hi, Jules. Loving the jacket, by the way. Um, here we have the very nice Nissan 350Z. This car, very interesting, one owner, great colour combination, by the way. Nice service history, and what's nice about it is one of the very last cars ever registered in the UK. It's a February 2009, so this is a very nice rare car. Over to you. Oh, I was expecting more. I feel short change there from, from that one. I was, I was expecting a bit more on it, but there we go. 2009 Nissan 350Z GT. As Jim said, one of the very last registered here in the UK, showing around about 85,000 miles. Manual transmission on her, of course. March next year, the MOT, just one owner from new, one owner from new. I can hear the internet pinging away on this one. I had three and a half thousand pounds on commission. Four thousand, four and a half. Next bid's 4,750 if you want to come in. Currently at 4,500 pounds bid. 4,750. At £4,750 bid at 4750 In Corrigan, it's going to Wales. At £4,750 bid. 5000 In Hertfordshire now, at £5,000 only bid at 5000 Provisionally selling. Internet against internet at 5250 In Derbyshire now, three different bidders there. At £5,250. Coming in again if you like. Currently at 5250 One of the very last registered. One... Owner from new. Good service history. Forgot to tell you about that. It's quite a bit of service history with her as well, obviously, with it being one owner from new. Nearly a full year's ticket on her as well at £5,250. At £5,250. £5,500. Drop it down to £5,600 if you don't mind, Thomas, for the next bid. At £5,000. Thank you. At £5,500 bid at five five. Just feel we're getting near the end of it there. At 5,500, see if we can get a couple of more bids out of it. At 5,500 pounds bid on the 350Z GT. Used to import these when they were virtually new from Japan, when they were just a couple of years old. Quite a few of these I brought in. Nothing quite as new as this. The newest one was 2006. There we go. At 3,000, sorry, 5,500 pounds, finish and done. Absolutely sure. Fair warning to all the underbidders. It is provisional, but I'm submitting the bid. One owner from you, 85,000 miles, manual, 350Z GT, with you in Hertfordshire, provisional at 5,500 pounds. 3,635. Thank you in Hertfordshire. We'll see what we can do. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 191, 191. Before we do that, though, George, are you going to come up on the video wall? Are you doing a car as well? Or have they left you out? Doesn't seem fair. Damien's had a go. Jim's had a go. Will's had a go. Next time. next You want to have a word? Want to have a word with your agents? You're doing something wrong. Lot 191. Two, it's an age thing. Lot 191. No, we had some old cars you could have done. <laughs> Right, okay. Lot 191, 2003 Mercedes SL500. No reserve on this one, ladies and gentlemen. So sharpen your pencils at home and here in the sale room. 
showing round about 71,000 miles, automatic transmission. MOT's run out, unfortunately. It says April, but it has actually run out, the MOT. There's no test on it. Has come to us from a 17-year ownership period with the V8 engine. Uh, interest here, I know you've been pinging away there, Thomas. You're at 1,000 pounds, that's correct. I'm at uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1,500. At 1,500 pounds, bid with me at 1,500. At 1,500 bid. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 1,500 pounds bid, 1,600. That sorted them out. That was lucky. Look, they'd all bid the same money. 1,600, 1,700. At 1,700 pounds, only bid at 1,700. In the sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at 1,700 pounds bid at 1,700. Against you online, ladies and gentlemen, 1,800 bid, 1,900. Back in our sale room, seated bidder at 1,900, 2,000 internet to one. At 2,100 pounds bid at 2,100. Still going at 2,100 pounds bid. In the sale room, against you at home, make no mistake at all. See you're all hovering there again. At two, oh, not now, not now that I've mentioned, 2-2. Two, two. Nope, you're out. At <laughs> 2-3, two, three, two, three. that makes you feel better. Now they bid again at 2,300 pounds bid at 2,300. Internet against internet bidding, 2-4. Still going at 2,400 pounds bid. 2-5, you're back in, sir. 2,500 pounds bid at 2,500. Gentleman's bid in our sale room, 2-6, 2-7. At 2,700 pounds bid at 2-7. Still going at 2,700, 2,8, 2,9, at 2,900 pounds bid at 2,9, 3,000, 3, 3,1, thank you, sir, at 3,100 pounds bid at 3,100. Still in our sale room, 3,2, 3,3, three, three, at 3,300 pounds bid at 3,300. No reserve, remember, ladies and gentlemen, 3,4. 3,5, thank you, sir. Still going at 3,500 pounds bid. Still against you, Thomas. 3,6, 3,7. Against you in Denbyshire, I'm afraid. 3,8, 3,9. Fill it up in Denbyshire. Currently at 3,900 bid in our salary. It's against you at home. At 3,000, bid. For one. Still going at 4,100 pounds bid at 4,100. 4.2 is that, Thomas. Thank you. 4.2. 50. At 4,250 bid. Against you in Denbyshire. 4.3. 50. 4.4. 50. 4.5. 50. 4.6. 6 <laughs> Do you know, it's been great working with you all the way through the sale at 4,600 pounds bid at 4.6. Not often I get to chuckle so much. 50 again if you like, sir. You're out. Thanks anyway for your bids. At 4,600 pound bid. Finish and done. Selling away on Tinternet at 4,600 pounds. She's going to go. Sold away at 4.6. Oh, did you? 4.650. Sorry about that in Shropshire. Sorry about that. 4.650. My mistake. Thomas had already confirmed that bid, as you know, at £4,650. I was just miles away there at 4650 Coming in again, if you like, ladies and gentlemen, at £4,650. Finish and done, four seven. thank you. Back in Denbyshire at £4,700. At four seven. Coming in again, if you like, fair warning. One last time from your auction at four seven fifty. Please bid quickly at home at £4,750. In Shropshire. At 4750, finished and done. Absolutely sure. We're in 50 pound increments, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to miss you again. At 4750 pounds, absolutely sure. I will sell her away this time. No mistake this time. You sure, Thomas? At 4750 pounds, I'm selling. Sold away at 4750. 7555. Thank you. Sold away. Couple of updates for you, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 168, the Porsche 968 Sport, sold away at £13,500. Lot 185, the Daihatsu 4-Track, you've bought us, sir. 3900 that looks a good buy to me, that one. Let us know how you get on with it. What a rare car. 
Lot 192, ladies and gentlemen, in the catalog. 192 was the Peugeot 205 GTI 1.9. That one also sold prior to the sale. That was on our website for quite a while. It's sold. That one went for £12,000 plus the buyer's premium as well. So we move on in the catalog to lot 193. 193, the 1938. Austin Big 7, six light saloon, no reserve whatsoever on this one. Runs and drives, has the Big 7 900cc engine. Nicely patinated as well, was driven 50 miles to our premises here in Runcorn. No reserve whatsoever. I'm in, let's have a look at this. I'm in at, um, what are you in at? 1,000 on the internet, I've got 1,100. At 1,100 pounds, bid with me at 1,100. 1,200, 1,300. At 1,300 pounds, bid 1,400, 1,500. Still on commission, 1,600, 1,700. Where am I looking? 1,800, 1,900. Still with me at 1,900. Just give me a shout if anybody, oh, 2,000 got you. 2,000 pounds bid at 2,000. 2,1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4. 25, 26, 27, 28, 50. <laughs> at 2850. Sorry I missed you. Just couldn't see you. At 2850. You just blended into Paul Cowland. You you all no, you blended into Paul Cowland. You just look like one person. At 2,850 pounds. <laughs> Genuinely, that's when I looked up, I was like, well, I can't see anybody. At 2,850 pounds bid. To nine. 3,000. Still with me at 3,000 pounds, only bid at 3,000. 3 1. All my commissions are out at 3,100 pounds bid on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, at 3 1. At 3,100 pounds bid. Coming in, if you like, anywhere else at just 3,100 pounds. Oh, go on, do them 50 pounds. Go on. We're near the end of the sale. At £3,100. Can't be fairer than that. You're all hovering away. I can see loads of you there. Look at them all. At £3,100. Finish and done. Another £50, ladies and gentlemen, or I'm selling her away. No reserve whatsoever. On the Big 7, Six Light Saloon. Sold away at 3100 6418 Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 194. 194, it's the 1958 MGA 1500 Coupe. And again, last night, that one sold as well. So apologies if you came to view it. Sold away at £16,000. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, not got many left, have we now? Lot 195. 195 is the Mercedes Benz SL 350. Well-maintained, this one, automatic transmission, just under 90,000 miles from new there, according to the Speedo. December this year, the MOT, fully stamped up service history in the original book pack as well. Let's have a look. Nothing on my book. Where are you, Thomas? £3,600 bid at just £3,600. You know I'm looking at you, sir, for the next bid. Three seven <laughs> At £3,700 bid at three seven. Against you online at £3,700, bid at £3,700. Nothing on my commission book at £3,700. Against you all around the globe. 38, surely where? Just give me a shout. Absolutely for nothing, surely. 38, fresh bidder. 39. Four, if you like, sir. I've got 39 seated bidder at 4,000. 4, 1. 4, 2. You're a hard man. A £4,200 bid at £4,200. 4,3. Still against you. Thanks for your bids anyway. £4,300 bid at £4,300. Seated bidder at £4,300. On the Mercedes Benz 350SL, 4,4. 4,4.50. 4, 4, Ooh, we're away off the reserve. We'll see how we get on. 4,5. 50. At 4,550 bid. 4.6. Like I said, you wouldn't get this any other auction. 4.650. 4.7. Nope. Thanks anyway for your bids. At £4,700, bid at £4,700. On the World Wide Web this time at £4,700. On the big Mercedes SL350. At £4,700. You're all out in the sale room. Provisionally selling then on the internet. 
with Thomas at 4750. Thank you. Right at the death there, against you on the internet now at 4,750. Back in the room at 4,750 pounds. Provisional, 48. Thanks anyway, gentlemen, at 4,800 pounds bid, at 4,800 pounds. Finish and done then. Last chance, last roll of the dice anywhere else. In Denbyshire at 48. We will try for you at 4,800 provisional. 7653. There we go. Lot 196, ladies and gentlemen, was a 1974 MGB GT. But that one sold prior to the sale for £6,000 plus the buyer's premium. So we move on to our last ride home of the day. And what a ride home this would be. 1949 Austin K9. It's been restored to REF radio operator radar repair specification don't know if you're familiar with collecting toys that's something i do matchbox do a model of this in 1959 number 68 in their range this little radio truck absolutely great to see the real life vehicle and be able to jump into it when i collect the toys it's got a four liter seriously it was just great yeah they do it number 68 got one at home i, I should have brought it with me really i could have had it on here um, four litre, six cylinder petrol engine, featured in Shed and Buried TV show, driven to the premises as well. There we are. Where do you want to be on this one? I've got, let's have a look, 3,000, 3,235 at 3,500 pounds, bid at 3,500. On the Austin K9, REF, radio truck, at 3,500 pounds, bid at 3,500. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just £3,500. Next bid's 3 8 if you want to come in. Currently at £3,500 bid. On commission, ladies and gentlemen, against you all in the sale room and against you around the globe. Nobody come for at all at £3,500. Have a look at that on the road. What a great vehicle this one is at £3,500. Absolutely sure, leaving it behind then. Maiden commission interest at £3,500. Finished and done then at 3,500. That one is not sold, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Too far away from our vendor's fixed reserve, which is a shame because it's a real fun vehicle, that one. You may see that coming up in our next sale uh, in May. Please keep a BDI on our website and our social media as all the cars and all the bikes come in. We'll be posting updates for you regularly, whether that's on Instagram, Facebook, or on our own website. Hope you've had a tremendous day today. If you bothered to come to the sale room, it was great to see you all. We had loads of people in. Safe journey home wherever you're going around the globe, and that applies to you at home. Thanks for joining. Thanks very much indeed. Thank, thank you. You're too kind. Too kind. It's a team effort, so well done, everybody else.